Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Saigon. You here on Vlad TV. Nothing is off the record podcast. Unfortunately, Havoc couldn't be with me. You know, I do this with my boy Havoc from Mob Deep, but he's on tour doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? And Vlad let me do something special. I figured Havoc wasn't here. I wanted to do something different. You know, you got to be very famous or very infamous to be on Vlad TV. And, you know, there's a lot of infamous guys, famous guys. So I asked Vlad for a favor. I said, let me interview some of my people that I know who deserve interviews, man, because there's a lot of street stuff going on. And um, I'm here with a very, very special guest, man. I know him from music. He's one of the first artists to rap on mixtapes, you know, with the Bounce Squad, Doo-Wop, Shout to Snag, all that. Shout to Doo-Wop. And um, he's a, you know, this is a guy who ended up doing 66, well, not doing, but getting sen and sentenced to 66 years in jail when we was kids. He tried to get me to do the crime with him. I'm like, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm gonna introduce you all to my brother, Wow, child. I know him as Wow, child. The hats know him as motherfucking tell Lou Snickles. Lou Snickles. Y'all already know what it is, but yeah. in the streets, eight dawn status, the swag king of New York fashion, always on that bed style fly shit. This is my guy. We 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 did many things together. Many things together. Yeah. Um, so we gonna get we gonna get in a little bit about your history, man. Because yeah. a lot of people gonna see this and not know who the fuck you are. Like who the who the hell is this guy and why is he even worthy of an interview on Vlad TV? So we gonna get into that, man. But I want you to introduce yourself. Let people know who you are, where you from, what year you was born. Let Absolutely. people know who you are. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, between Quincy, Lewis, and Stuyvesant. Um, I was born in 77. 77. I was that, born in was 77, born, just like him. You know, the I, seven I is was, the best number. That's the God number, you heard? Two, there was the two, God seven, number. Seven, seven. Seven, great. seven. Seven, seven. I already seven. know. Great, great. I'm songwriter, super songwriter, producer. I used to rap back in the day. So hold on, hold on. Speaking of using to rap, right? You started, because this is how I first heard of you, before we even met personally, doo-wop. Shout out to Doo Wop and the Bounce Squad. Absolutely. Shut up, hold on. Doo Wop and them was the first ones really having MCs rap on mixtapes. Before G Unit, Cam, and all, all it, Clue. Before that, they all got that shit from, from Doo Wop. Let's keep it a bean, right? Nine, I'm talking about 91, 92. These guys was on, on, on mixtapes rapping. Nobody really was familiar with them. And Doo Wop was doing something strategic. And there was a voice. Named Wow Child. There was Snagger Puss. He used to rap like the car. Snagger Puss. That was he, he, he stood, Snag. He stood Snag. out. My God, Snag, Shout what out up? Shout to Snag, you know what I'm saying? There was, my, there was a, all that. It was ill. Misery and Unique from the, like. PMS. PMS. PMS, yeah. And it was you, Wow Child. Wow Child, get the child. Shout, so, out, to, like, shout out to Rap Gotti. Bring it back to that, right? Like, like how you being from Brooklyn, he from the Bronx and all that, because I was in Brooklyn back then. And. Brooklyn and Bronx didn't mesh in, unless it was violence back then. So how'd you end up linking up with doo-wop? My, my, first of all, my father's from the Bronx, 183rd and Webster. 183rd was popping. Uh, my friend, my best friend at the time, I used to go, when I was out there with my pop, my mom, they were separated. So I used to live with my grandmother in, um, in Brooklyn. And I used to go stay with my pops in the summer and things like that. And eventually I wound up staying with him for a year or two. So I was going to school out there. Briefly, and I met my partner, who was a rapper as well, and we became like best friends. And we used to be battling everybody everywhere because he was nice, just like me. He was nice. He get busy, so we going everywhere. We battling everybody. Shout out to Party Hardy, um, digging in the crib. We going everywhere battling people. So with the the, the doo wop thing, he, we met at the Fever. We went to the Fever one day. It was bad on in front of the fever. It was bad on everybody. It was like, yo, them kids is nice. They need to be fucking with the bell score right now. And I ain't really care. You know, I was doing my own thing. I ain't know about mixtapes, none of that, as far as people rapping on mixtapes. And one day he's like, yo, come over, come to the crib. And we started rapping and we started making music. And it was beautiful. And uh, actually, I did a song with Positive K. Remember, I got a man. Mm. That shit right there. I read his own size of K. So it's me, Positive K, all that on a, a J. Rue the Damage should be. Remember that you on the front, uh? Then I man. bodied that. I bodied man. that right there. Man. Bodied that. Shout out to all that, the ditch digger. Yeah. Uh, so from there, I met the other members, Unique and Misery. Unique and, those are like my sisters, but Unique, 
she was like me and her was real close and uh, I co-wrote a lot of music for her. She she writes her own music as well. But Unique, I was already a fan of her because they, she was part of a group called the Ghetto Girls. The Ghetto Girls did the um, my man playing tricks on me versus how the Ghetto Boys did my mom playing point. tricks on me. I remember that. So scene. she did uh, my man playing tricks on me. She had the baseball bat and all that chasing yeah. the zombies. So like oh, she was already part of the that. Ghetto Girls before she came to the Bounce Squad and became PMS with Unique and Misery. The mixtape, let me say something. The mixtape, there wasn't a lot of people rapping on mixtapes. All right. It was the the, the top DJs was Duop and Kid Capri. Yeah. They used to go at it crazy. It was yeah, it was Ron G, um, SNS, all of them. They was fire. Buck Wow, shout out to Buck Wow. Fire, all of that. But Duop and Kid Capri was the main DJs. And Duop is the first DJ to have rappers on a mixtape. Facts. Not just rappers from like that's already on, but rappers from the street. Yeah. Me, Snag, KO, everybody. There's so many people. Yeah. Um Champ MC that um later became with the five Deadly Venoms. Champ, everybody. Like we was dominating the mixtape game. Everywhere you go, every show, we was killing everything. When I hear today certain uh probably like the G unit and LOX, of course. I love their mixtape. Their mixtapes is fine. It helped me throughout my incarceration. But at the end of the day, doo started that. He is the pioneer of that right there, That's that ever right there. That's a fact. Uh, for a long time, I thought I was going to be on. I thought I was going to be, I, I, we were going to be the next group. So it was a label, Rough Riders. doo started something called Rough Camp. That was going to be our label. It was doo in a bounce club, but we was going to be on the Rough Camp. But because Rough Riders already had that rough in front of their names. So Rough I Riders put, was already around at, at that point. They, but no, they, they how you say it, um, copyrighted, trademark. Yeah, yeah. It, but they were they already, they was a step. No, it was trademarked already. It's like before you're going to do something, you're going to get it. But it's the same Rough Riders that we became with DMX and all? Yes, yes, yes. Same yes, yes, DNY yes. and them guys. Yes. A word. They already, so they already had it. You got to understand, before you even do something, you're gonna set trademarks. Oh so, well, yeah, logos. but you gotta understand this was nine what was ninety one? No, this 92? is the, yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about ninety one, ninety two. I'm talking about when I was with WAP, that was nine three, nine four. Okay, same same yeah, era. Nine, three, so nine, so nine, Rough Riders was already established then. I wouldn't say they was established, but they, but they owned the name yeah. they owned so the, the trademark. name Rough Riders, so we wasn't able to use Rough Camp yeah. at that time. And do I put co sign that do I was popping. So from that, we just stayed the bounce squad. Oh, I forgot somebody. Torch with the mop head with the patch on his eye. My God. Mm. So, as far as like, just like I said, mixtape. We, we, it's nobody could fuck with us. Nobody. But yeah, um, the Wu Tang. It. Matter of fact, Wu Tang came out. Wu Tang wasn't doing mixtapes. So. No, they wasn't. But no. they came out. I, that's why I met you. Uh, in, in the Spring yeah. Valley, I yeah. heard the first time I heard Wu Tang was uh the um in Spring Valley. How you yeah. say that shit? Sticking pens in your head like a fucking nurse, the yeah. old dirty bastard. Yeah. And so I'm hearing a group of people, though. I'm not just hearing one. I'm like, wait a minute. That's that's what we doing. That's us. It's like nine of us. And I'm hearing a whole bunch of I'm like, hold on. They could have got that idea. They could have been listening to us, and they could have been put it together. Well, you know, Rizzo was a... And that was around, uh, not, like you said, 92, Ni 91. 94. Yeah. No, nah, it wasn't 94. Wu-Tang was on. No, it was about 93, 94. Oh, your first time hearing Wu-Tang was not 94. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Oh, the first time first I heard time, Yeah, when you when, when y'all was doing the mixtapes, that was not that was nah, ninety two. Nah. Cause ninety three I was I was incarcerated mm -hmm. by that point. So and by then you bumped by the name Wild Child. Absolutely. Wild Child, born psychopathic, into my chamber, poisonous, poisonous gases. gases. Who's my, my next victim? victim? So I could crucifix. Uh, used to have this guy used to walk around with six 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 on his fucking hat. I, you was the you A was demon. saying things before Eminem, before a lot of these people that was kind of like fucking up <laughs> a lot nah, of Nah, like, all right, so cannabis? No, 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 no. We're not going to get involved. Mm -hmm. I want to know back then, okay. what was your involvement in the street? Because I that's around a time when I got familiar with you. But what was your involvement in the street like? Because you was rapping some crazy shit. Was it just rap or was you... I was a demon, unfortunately. I was a real demon. I was very evil at the time. I had a lot of shit going on mentally. I used to drink Cisco, which is the uh, equivalent to 
two K, K two today. That the shit that the smoke, that shit was like liquid two K. So you drinking that, your mind is, mm, your mind ain't good like that. So you doing a lot of different things when you drinking that, reckless, not giving a fuck about nothing, just doing what you want to do, whatever, not caring about nothing and nobody's feelings, nothing. Damn. Damn. Because I remember, because that's around the time I met you. And we're going to get into that because I was running around crazy. I was drinking yes. Cisco as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was drinking Cisco. And when we, when we met, it's funny because I met you in a weird, I don't know if you remember this, but we was at the bus stations being like teenagers, 13, 14, with guns on us, selling crack and doing all kind of crazy mm -hmm. shit, robbing drug dealers, doing all, and, and we just happened to not know each other, but doing the same shit. And this is where I took a liking to you because I remember you was talking to some young lady and some individual came up, I'm not gonna mention his name, some individual came up and like took a piss next to where you were standing Crab talking. Crab ass to. nigga. Crab ass nigga came next to me while I'm with a chick and he fucking, the park is so big, you could piss anywhere. Crab ass nigga came and took a piss where we were sitting and he thought that I was gonna let that ride? Yeah. Fuck no. It wasn't, it, it, and, and mind you, it wasn't about the chick. Don't think it's about the chick. It's definitely, it's, it's M.O.B. I know it wasn't about the No, it's M.O.B. It was the fucking principle. Don't fucking come and violate and piss you see me and a chick right here chilling and you pull your shit well, out. he ain't pull it out to where he was. Yes, he did. Was, he was it, right over here. We were sitting here and he just pulled the stuff. But when a man take a piss, he could turn his back to you. Yes, but he didn't do none of that. He, to me, he was being purposely disrespectful and I had to go fucking handle him. But you didn't have to cut him. Listen. I was there this, and this, that's how listen, me and him no, became friends with the kid in the <laughs> Listen, okay. if you violate and I check you, you know what I told him? I said, yo, fuck me. Don't even worry about me. Just apologize to her. I'ma hold it down. Apologize. He was like, I'm not apologizing to you or nobody. I'm like, oh really? And you know, from there it, 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 it went down. And he tried to fight me, he tried to grab me. You know, he's you know, he's got a toy try to grab me. You know I had that orange box cut it off. I had that orange box cut off. Because the last thing I remember was seeing blood and then... I had that orange box cut off. Try to tear son just, just completely finish him because... And he lucky I ain't have my hammer. And like I said, it is the principle. You can't violate like that and then don't even apply. Don't say... You could have said, yo, I'm drunk. I'm fucked up. My bad. You ain't say nothing. So now you got to hold that down for the rest of your life. Crab. Same, same, same lame nigga. Same lame nigga that probably a month later I seen them while I'm hustling, I'm getting money. This clown has the nerve to come where we getting money at hustling. The first thing I seen him in his mouth, like, yo, what like then we just have an incident, a fight, and you over here in my spot? Then I had the hammer. Now it's different. Now I'm trying to tear your fucking head what off. What the fuck was wrong with you? Cause I at this point we was friends and shit. Yeah. And I and people thought I was crazy because I was mm -hmm. doing a lot of Crazy mm -hmm. shit. And people mm -hmm. was looking at me like catastrophe. They used to call me catastrophe. Yeah. Yeah. Catastrophe. Catastrophe is what I know him by. That's my <laughs> guy right there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Before there was a Saigon. So, so, and, and, and I used to I look did. at him and we, like, mind you, we 13, 14 years old. We, we not nowhere near being adults or mm -hmm. our minds. They say now a man's mind ain't even fully capable of understanding nah, until develop, he's 20 maturity until he's 22 23 you're not at you you out of the adolescent stage when you're like 25 25 somewhere around exactly like so Absolutely. imagine us being 10 years younger than that being charged as adults for all these crimes that we did and all that and and us sitting there thinking because in hindsight i'm like what the fuck was we thinking and this is as we get into the interview this is light compared to the shit that we were getting into this is light but I want to talk about like your charges, right? Because you ended up getting charged with some crimes that I don't know if you remember. This is one of the, I think me and you had a, a, a G, a, remember G, G Money? Do you ever watch Juice? Not, of course, yeah. Of right? course. So not, not G Money, wrong movie. That's, that's uh, New Jack City. But in Juice, there's a, there's a point where, where uh, Pac. Tupac and Blizzard, mm -hmm. Blizzard was robbing the, the pool hall, yeah. right? And Pac was like, nigga, we, and Q come out like, yo, Blizzard is in there robbing the pool. I'm, I'm and in someone there. was like, like we, swimwear. so, and you, yeah, he I'm was like, there. let's go. We, let's go. That, so, if you remember correctly, because I remember this shit like it was yesterday, because all the years of my bid, all the years I did, which I ain't do nowhere near as much time mm -hmm. as you, 
I remember you saying, yo, son, we were out there. We already, at this point, me and this guy is already selling crack at four, at coke all too. day. Coke too. Holding coke, crack, all of that. Robbing people, doing all this crazy shit. But this guy comes and goes, nah, we got we to gotta turn up. We about to ro go rob a whole train. Like, we going to rob Because the there was a train in Spring Valley that... That's right there near the bus stop. That, but that's money. not that's a Metro North. No, but I was just saying, God, that's a Metro North train. Yeah. So that's, but that's not what that's not what ended up happening. But that was the point was I was the guy saying, Nah, so let's not do this, and you like we in there, nah, right? It wasn't just trains. I, I hold on, hold on. We are gonna get into that, right? It was like we in there, and I remember that because I caught a, a shooting case, and I'm in jail. And the next time I heard about what was going on with you. They told me that you actually robbed a train and was sentenced to, they said you had a thousand years. Yeah. And now it was how many? How, 33 how many? to 66 years. How much? 33 to 66 years. So you were sentenced to 66 years? That was the max, absolutely. 33 to 66. Bitch ass queens, judicial system. Fuck the judge, the DA, all y'all. Anyway, so. And how old were you? At that time I was like 18. 18. Yeah. 18, you, did you did you 18 cop out? going on so, 19. Hell so let me no. ask you a question. What was the incident? What was the incident that led you getting? All right. So no, I had a stick up partner back in the day. We we moving, robbing everything. Uh, drug dealers, coke dealers, dope dealers. We used to go to Broadway, Amsterdam. We used to get people. We used to go to re up. We used to rob people, get more money. Uh, when a lot of times we didn't have the proper artillery and we didn't have. There's certain things that you would do when you run up in a coke spot or something. We would be like, yo, fuck it. We, we need re-up money. We don't, we can't buy no drugs or get no money. We got to go hit a train or something like that. The thing is that it's a lot easier than running up in a fucking a dope spot full of Dominicans. It's, it's not that simple. You might not make it out with your life. And that's a whole fact. On a train, no, nobody's expecting no shit like that. So, like, we not um, old ladies and old men. We not, we, we ain't on that. We looking for people that's like us, that get money, that's hustling, and got jewels. So, we ain't even, be, wasn't even thinking about bread like that. We was thinking about the jewels. Like, you know, we know jewels when we see them. Yeah. Watches, chains, whatever. My man was on some shit. Like, yo, fuck it. You see the door knockers take them. So, I'm like, nah. But he was doing it. I wasn't knocking them. We young black and didn't give a fuck about nothing at the time. We was living in a different era. The 90s, 80s different era but we used to do that shit get the money get our re-up and good so this time in this situation i was by myself and i i was uh i came back from out of town matter of fact hold on let me let me rewind because i went too fast okay so prior to me committing these crimes i was on a run for two cases a case in manhattan case in the bronx case in queens robberies all robberies all robberies. What happened is I'm on probation at the time for a robbery case that I caught in the Bronx. I did uh, like six months on the island. Uh, I had the, uh, what you call it, one, at the one six, six months, five, five years. Six, yeah, six, six months, five, you know. So I had six, six months, six, five, five years probation. The infamous, infamous trick six, you to cop out. Absolutely. Yes. Six months, five yeah. years probation. Because they know you're going to fuck up in five years. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm 17. I'm 16. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to fuck up. I'm, that's fuck. a fact. I, I, I'm, yeah. Soon as the PO, the PO, I and asked. it's a felony. They tricked you. I asked the PO. I said, yeah. listen, where they lock you up? Because he was like, yo, you got to do piss test. You got to get a job. I'm looking at him like he lost his mind. A job. A piss test. What? Please. I'm yeah. doing what the fuck I want to yeah. do. Yeah. When I want to do it. How I want to do it. Fuck you. So I was like, yo, where they, if I fuck up, where they, where they lock me up? And he was like, right here. I was like, all right, have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Because I knew I was going to never see him again. And to this day, I ain't never see him again. Because I'll never report it. After that one time, it was done. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm on a run. I'm moving around, and I run into one of my men's um, Prince up in um, Spring Valley, whatever. Prince is related to Havoc. Shout, Shout out, out to Prince. Havoc. Shout out to Prince. Shout out to Prince. Prince, Prince is, is the same guy. Havoc. That's let me can I speak yeah, about yeah, Prince. Yeah. Prince is the same guy when I had my fight with with Marv Deep and Havoc and Prodigy, who's my partner on this podcast. Prince was the one who actually got me out of there unscathed and made sure I was able to get up out of there without dying. So shout out to my, that's our brother. We Like I said, we that's all family. grew up together. That's family. And, and speak so on. So with Prince, we and, we, and, we and Prince met, all right, before that, prior to that, me and Prince met in a group home uh, on Atlantic Avenue. 
Uh, and my son Killer Kane. Shout out to Killer Kane, Staten Island, Wu Tang Clan, mm-hmm. on Nicki Minaj. Right, Kane passed. That's what I've been hearing, but I'm not sure. Shaheem, I, I hit Shaheem on the gram, yeah. and I was like, "Yo, holla Fuck at Shaheem. Shaheem, you know, don't play with me. Shaheem, play with me if you want to. Yeah, and you. I don't, was, I don't and, fuck with Shaheem. Go yeah, ahead. because he could fucking he could have told me, yo, he could have let me know what it is. Moving along, yeah. so yeah, in your case, right? So to get I, that's more than body time. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That, you got more time than niggas that with two murders. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm, so what was the main ca- thing that got you? I know you had a bunch of robberies. No, in but in this in this specific case, okay. understand that we're in Queens now. Queens has the highest conviction rate and turnaround rate. That means that they can sentence you to a thousand years and tell you get it on a pill, even when they dead wrong and you all in the right. If you don't got a paid lawyer, these are the things that occur. And they even you're still going to do that time. What yeah. happens is this. So if you don't go to trial, if you go, if you just cop out, so say you cop out, all right, the, the offer is six to 12, whatever, you can get six to 12 and you're going to do your bid. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. But if you go to trial, so you went can, to trial. I went to trial. So yes. okay, well you still one thing we missing. You blue trial, right? Mm-hmm. Blue trial, obviously. Mm-hmm. So what was you? What was your charge? Or, or armed robbery. robbery with a deadly weapon. Armed robbery, and armed that, robbery. that that was a train robbery. Six accounts. Tra- so six you got, accounts. So you got charged with every. Yes, I, I got charged with six accounts of armed robbery with a deadly weapon. What happens is uh, a lot of people that was on that train that day they didn't they left they book it. They wasn't willing to testify. They wasn't trying to go through the whole process. The people that stayed, they they testified. How the fuck do you rob a train? How? How does... We just go individuals, like you get on the floor, like... No, I tell everybody, go right over here. Everybody go on this section right here and all your jewelry... Let me get God. that. Let me get that. Take that off. God damn. Watches, I'm so rings, glad I didn't go with watches, you. Watches, rings, everything. Chains. Let me get all of that. I'm so glad. I need that. But I needed to re-up. <laughs> I needed I to re-up. I don't care why you needed it because yeah. I remember you coming to me with the idea. Yeah, like, son. Re-up. And I, I was like, that was my two. I, that was my cute. Shout out to Omar Epps, who was a friend of the show. And he's going to be on here to show soon. He was like in, in, in the movie. He mm-hmm. was like, "Nah, son, we ain't doing that." And I remember that because we was shooting certain shit. We, but you, when you was like robbed the train, I was like, "Nah, bro." And then when I got caught up for my shit, and then I heard that it actually happened, I was like, "Damn, son, really did it." And, but it didn't surprise me because it was you. Mm-hmm. But it was like this motherfucker really robbed the train. No like, question. Look at look at the G rap song. Yeah, the great train. The That's train robbery. Look at the the Biggie song. Give me the, Give loot. Me the loot. Train robbery. Like that's that's something that was occurring back in the day. Yeah, that was it was occurring back in the day. The God thing is that damn. you gotta. The thing is that you gotta pick people smart though. So let me ask you a question. Why? Damn. So you 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 backed everybody into. So everybody. So what happened up? when the train stopped? Like at the next stop. I was gone, but it was police on the fucking train. I didn't know that. So people that was leaving to get out the car, they went. And alerted the police. So when they alerted the police, when I got off the train, how the long did the train go from once it went from? I don't, I don't know for a while. It wasn't no a, a local one one. Yeah, it's sort express. of like it's sort of like uh, how you go from one twenty fifth to fifty ninth. Yeah. How the D and the A one twenty fifth ninth because yeah. that's a that's another good jux because you got time to get everybody in breeze. In this case, it was a few. It went a few stops. It's Queens. It go from like seventy first Continental to like Union Turnpike or something like that. Damn. And you got time to do what you got to do. As soon as them doors open, you book it. However, police is right there. So mind you, the first thing I thought, I'm like, I was like, I was gonna squeeze off, but I'm like, I'm not, a, I'm not a dummy. This is a robbery. My thing about a robbery, I'm gonna tell you this. I said I never felt it was too, and this is my mindset back then. I never felt it was wrong to rob people as long as you're not hurting them. Physically, like mm. you're not stabbing them, you're not cutting them, you're not even shooting them. Just give me that, and you leave with your life, and you're good, and I'm gone. That was my mindset. Yeah, but now too. I know that that mindset is all fucked up because you could affect somebody mentally. Yeah. And I and I know that because my stepmoms had got I got robbed while I was locked up, and I was like, "Yo, that's my karma," because I never believed, it, and I didn't give a fuck about how somebody felt. So why you know? would you go to? You, and you say you went to trial. Why? 
Why would you go to trial? Oh, yeah. So this is why I went to trial. So you got a case. You got three cases in three different boroughs. If you cop out to one, that's one felony. You cop out to another, that's two violent felonies. Remember, yeah. violent felonies. And you cop out to three, any sentence you get is life behind it. So if you cop out, you're going to get life in each case. So what you do is like, yo, I need this case ran concurrent. But if the judges in the D, they're not trying to uh, agree to run it concurrent, you got to go to trial because you're not trying to do time. If somebody offering you 9 to 18, you, you're going to just be like, oh, well, let me get that? No. You're going to be like, I'm going to trial. Fuck that. But I'm if gonna... you did it, you going to... This is my thing with plea bargaining the trial. If I know I did it, unless you give me some shit where I'm just not taking it, I guess that's not 18. Any, yeah. Anything. I'm not I'm taking 18. All right, just say, listen, you got to take 18. Yeah. Keep in mind that I had other cases. Yeah. So if I'm copping out to one case, stay 5 to 10. Just say I have 5 to 10. Yeah. The next case, they offering 6 to 12, and the other case is 9 to 18. Be, oh, run so that's They're all that run running wild. Why yeah. the fuck would I take that plea? You got to yeah. be a fucking idiot. Let's go to trial. I might beat the shit. Straight wow. up. How many people beat cases that they fucking was dead guilty of? So how much time you end up, so ultimately you end up doing? So I got ultimate, well, I'm, all right. So I had 11, I had 33 to 66. I pilled it. It went down 25 to 50. I pilled it again and went to 20 to 40. And they never, they never went back lower than that. So out of 20 40. to 40, I did 22 years. So you went from 66 years down to 20, 20, 20 to 40. 20 to 40. But I, th and you was 19 years old. No, eight, Well, when I got sentenced, yes. When you I got sentenced, that? I was 19. So you, at that time, you did more time ultimately. In jail than I did in the street. Because you did 22 years. Absolutely. And you was uh, 19. When you absolutely. Uh, um, when I got sentenced, <laughs> I went crazy. Yeah. I said, I'm wowing. I didn't say, oh, my God. I'm, I said, I'm wowing. I'm straight soon. I get to the bullpen. I'm wowing on somebody, the COs, the court, anybody. You I'm, was doing that in the street anyway. So you would have did that without me. I'm wowing. Yeah, but it made, me, it made me feel like I'm never going home. You got to remember, I was sentenced to 33 to 66. 66 is that back number. That's the max. That yeah. means they could keep hitting yeah, you up until 66 yeah. fucking years. I'm like, what the fuck did I do that caused me to get 33 to 66 years and nobody ain't dying this shit? Yeah. Fuck out of here. So I was like, you know what? I'm wilding. And this going to be my home. I'm going to die here. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So what? That's crazy. Because you know what's funny? I can't... I could relate to prison, but I can't relate to them kind of numbers. Those are what they call football numbers. Yeah. When they say football numbers, that means a motherfucker football on uh, your jersey. <laughs> Nigga, yeah. a lineman. Not only just Queens. football numbers. Queens. Those are linemen Queens. numbers. The so when you, were, when, when, when you was on an island, right, I know because a lot of these rap guys came through the system and they ended up, you know what I'm saying, coming out. And But one of them guys, that, and I heard this through the grapevine that you, that you linked up with or you knew on Rikers Island, was uh Ken Ken Zoo Petty, who's oh, married that's my son. who's married to Nicki Minaj. Shout yeah. out to Zoo Brett and Beasley. <laughs> you already know what it is. All right, so, how, so how, how'd you link up with, with Zoo? Zoo is Zoo is my guy. Um, him and my son Webb from Queens as well. I I wasn't really a fan of people from Queens. Yeah. Shout out to Zip with the trip, Mister. Let's get to that. So what happened is, <laughs> so what happened is I'm I'm in the I'm I'm, I'm I was in a, I was in a fight in the Sprungs. Somebody snuck death me, whatever. Wow, dudes are scared to death to leave the sprungs and go to the floor building. Yeah. They're scared to death. They be threatened. Oh, my God. We don't yeah. want to go to the building. Me, I didn't give a fuck. Went to the building. My first house in the building was 10 upper, was 10 upper. Went to 10 upper, popped off with some Latin kings. Now, man, I wasn't affiliated with no gang. So when you say popped off, you mean got busy? Like What? Uh, when he told me I couldn't, when he told me I can't use the phone, what, was, what happened with that? Some kid named Rob. Whatever they told me, I couldn't use the phone. They talk about some six minutes shit. So, tell me, yeah, tell so me I how, went to, you, how you met Zoo. All right, before I met Zoo, I was in 10 Upper. Ten, they sent me from the Sprungs. I popped off. Somebody snuck death me. Won the fight, whatever. Got, snuck me mean steal from you. All like, right, snuck death I'm gonna is... Tell I'm the yard father, so I'm going to tell y'all jail. <laughs> snuck jail death, we had blue bends in the Sprungs with all your, your cookies. Yeah, just so all sneak thieves has been uh, uh, like niggas, a rat. You turn your head you and you niggas steal. Or you in the bathroom, yeah. or you in the rec room, whatever. Niggas steal a bag of chips from... Yeah. All right, so you can't allow nobody to do nothing to you in prison. Not yeah. say nothing crazy, not touch you, not steal. You got to address everything Fact. or you're going to be a fucking vic. Yeah. I had to address that. 
They sent me to now, mind you, I didn't know about the gangs, Latin King. I never heard of Latin Kings in Nieta until I went to jail. Yeah, ever. I was in the street, like I was. I but who the fuck is a Latin King on Nieta? Yeah. So I went to Ten Upper, and you know, it's a bunch of Latin Kings in there. Latin King, they're Puerto Rican, whatever. So I went to Ten Upper, and I met somebody that which is which is, who always became a good friend of mine. His name is Baby Heck. And people know who, shout out to Baby Heck. They know who Baby Heck is. Baby Heck was my man, but Baby Heck is an enemy of so many people. Anyway, I went to, um, I tried to use the phone, and the Lion King was like, yo, this is the Lion King phone. You can't use that phone. So I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to call home? And it was like, you don't. I was like, oh, really? I was like, all right, you got that. <laughs> I went to the bathroom. They got the, um, they had the mop ringers, the metal joints, too. They ain't had the yellow. They had the metal mop ringers. I was like, this guy talking about I can't use the phone, right? So I waited for him. He was on the phone. And as soon as I seen him on that phone, I took that metal mop ringer and just start wailing on his shit. He was very bloody, beat the shit out of him, took the phone, took the phone to the wire, went to the bathroom. Whoever went the phone, come in the bathroom. That's it. Damn. Come in the fucking bathroom, you went the phone. That's right. That, down. That's the right. But down before that, you know, they pulled the um pull the pen. They pulled the pen. Yeah, pull the pen. ERU came. Because, you know, they coming to so, a fucking yeah, Latin King yeah, house. Yeah. You know, they wowed all my shit because, you know, I just wasn't going to let them do what they wanted to do to me. And I'm a little guy. So, like, you got to get your shit off first because once you get your shit off, it's over after that. Yeah. Straight up. It's over. They're going to finish you. They're going to take you to the Wyme pen. Fuck shit you, you up. Whatever. So after that and incident. The off of it points. Why me pen is when you in there saying why me? Because you fucked up. <laughs> That's <laughs> a fact. Broke you're up, bleeding, bruised yeah, You're bloody, you're bleeding out, and the police guess what, beat though? the shit out of you. Guess what, though? You left with your fucking dignity because you ain't let nobody put their so fucking So how'd you meet? How does this look? Oh, yeah, Zoo. Okay, so after that, I, they sent me to Mall 4 Upper, uh, the north side. And that's where Zoo, Webb, Wild Bill, all of these people was at. So uh, what I do remember about Zoo the funny guy, I hear about the, the rape case shit. I never heard of that. Back in the day, if you had a rape case, dudes is blowing your fucking top off and they checking paperwork and you're not going to stay in the house. Yeah. We, that we, whole rape shit was bullshit. Yeah, when like, we oh. did the rapists, we violated them because they violating women. We yeah. They done stuck brooms in the rapist's ass and all yeah. that, set them on fire, violated them, and they yeah. sleep, set them on fire. We don't give a fuck. Zoo, if Zoo was a rapist, rapist, that's what would have happened. Nah, it was That's some no statutory shit. shit. He was in a relationship. That, shout out to Zoo. Zoo, you already know what yeah, it is, hat. Yeah. That wasn't no rape shit. Absolutely. That shit is they bullshit. They made a same age. A lot of y'all niggas, yeah, niggas, niggas, niggas be like, uh, y'all be doing the muscle. Y'all don't know the fucking facts. My son is official. One day I was starving. I ain't have no fucking food in my life. I ain't have a crackhead soup. I ain't have a crackhead crack soup. Crackhead soup, y'all follow a tip. Jail shit. Vlad TV. <laughs> we giving y'all the tips. Cracker soup is ramen noodles, by yeah. the way. <laughs> so I ain't even have, <laughs> ramen noodles. Yo, listen. I ain't even have a cracker soup in my locker. And, and a lot of us like that. We ain't have shit. You know, we's fucked up, hungry, whatever. So one day we go into the mess hall. And uh, Miss Knox, shout out to Miss Knox for the fatty. Oh, my God. Dominican. Nice. Mm, y'all know who Miss Knox is. She was a CO. Yeah, she was a CO shout back in the day. Miss Knox with the fatty. Miss Knox is sweetheart, too. Yeah. So... We lining up the we line up to go to Chow. So we about to go to the mess hall. Um, they gotta do a count. The count can never be fucked up. For some reason, I don't know how the count wasn't fucked up because I ain't see Zoo and I ain't see my son Powwow. So we go to the mess hall. We come back. That mess hall food is garbage, it's trash. I'm still hungry because I ain't eat everything. I go to my locker to put whatever back. My cup, you know, you got the green cup yeah. you take to the mess hall. Yeah. So I go to open my locker, put the green cup in. My locker is full of fucking food. I'm like, how the fuck my locker full of food? I ain't buy this shit. This shit ain't mine. Now, you got to remember, back in the day, the mook shit, they put something on your bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it wasn't no, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't none of that in the house that I was in. Yeah. Special gangsters in the house. So other people lock have food in their locker. I'm like, damn. But guess what? When I'm coming back, I see Zoo climbing from underneath his bed for the count. And I see Pow Wow climbing from underneath his bed. I'm like, yo, what the fuck they was up to in here? <laughs> fuck is y'all up to in here? So the Latin Kings, um, it was only like seven Latin Kings in the house. They was in the L section. So it was one, he had like a castle on his arm, and he was like the head, probably the second, first crown, whatever. 
he went to the like the head of the house. I think it was my son Wild Bill and Webb. They had the house or whatever. He was like, yo, you know, my, they stole from my manitos. Who? He was like, who? I don't know what you're talking about. He was like, all our lockers is clean to shut. He was like, that don't got nothing to do with me. Get the fuck out of my face. He was like, Papi, how you gonna? Da, da, da. He was like, yo, get the fuck out of my face before I send you out of here, whatever like that. So Zoo. Me, I, I said, I was like, Zoo, some good looking. I hugged Zoo like, yo, Zoo, I got mad. appreciate that I ain't have shit, bro. Now I can eat. So I ain't Zoo going had, to bed hungry. Zoo, so. Zoo and Pow Wow, they robbed the whole, the whole L section. They took everything and put it in all their people's lockers on some Robin Hood shit. So everybody who didn't have food, Zoo, who's Zoo, Nicki Minaj's Zoo. husband. Shout out to Zoo Petty. Zoo. Ken Petty. He, so he robbed all everybody and... And put it in all our, and the black people that's, lockers, that's basically. That's some Robin Hood shit and, for um, real. The, <laughs> and Robin all Hood. of us... And all of us that was, we ain't go to bed hungry that night because of my son, Zoo. Real shit. Zoo is a fishy motherfucker. I ain't seen Zoo since probably like 2005 in Southport. But Zoo gave me his BM numbers like, yo, holla at me when you get home. I holla, but he was already wrapped up with Nikki, And it was like, you know, the the whole, but Zoo, my Instagram, Andrew Dawn status, <laughs> 77. Yeah. Holla at me. You already know I'm home now. You already know what so, it is, man. So when you left Rikers Island... What year did you What year did you go off state? You remember? What What was your number? Was well, my my number was ninety eight number. I had a ninety eight number. So you went up north in ninety eight. Ninety eight. Okay. So you went up state in ninety eight, and when you yeah. so when you went up night with with with, with you were sentenced to thirty three to sixty six. Thirty three to sixty six. Uh, April. Uh, April twenty. So April. being nineteen years old, right? Going to prison, and when prison was wild, the y'all fall. I was I was there in ninety eight, right? So. Going upstate at 19 years old, because I known you, you was a hothead in the street. What the fuck was your mindset knowing you had to do 66 years in prison? I don't give a fuck. I'm going to die here. I'm wailing. I'm doing whatever. Mother, I, I'm like, yo, they're going to know my name in here. So when you when you went up north, when you first, now you going up north at 19 years old, already being wild child, mm -hmm. already being a minor celebrity almost. Best rapper on the island. Axe Kazoo, Axe Web. And the best rapper Queens. in the street. And the, and I'll say this is me, Saigon. And the best rapper on mixtapes before there was rappers on mixtapes. Shout I'm out humble, to Snag. I appreciate Shout it. Shout out to K.I. I love K.I.s. I love Snag. I love Unique. all that. Unique. I love you. Rampage. And Lord Tariq. Hold Rampage. On. Lord Tariq, too. Oh, Lord shit. Lord Tariq was one of the original Bounce Squad Lord members. Lord Tariq. Peter Shout out to Peter Guns. Oh, sound baby. Yeah. Shout out to Peter Guns, who's like my big bro. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So... Soundview, bang, Peter, Peter, everybody hold their head. So when 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 you going upstate, having that experience of being like, I won't say uh, fame and shit yeah. like that, but you was already in the street mm -hmm. wilding because, and uh, but now you got sixty six years potential, mm -hmm. thirty three to sixty six, which mm -hmm. is a fucking I, as a mind fuck to me. Just think about being nineteen, having that kind of sentence. You go upstate and there's a war going on between. Puerto Ricans and the blacks, right? It, it because I'm, I'm what I'm getting at is what made you because I know you and I know me personally. I, I always thought gangs was for punks, for suckers, like fuck that. And, uh, and, and knowing you, nah, for real, knowing you, you was you know, a nigga I'm a who G was by myself, G all the way by yourself. I'm so, a gangster even when I'm by myself. That's what we say. I know. I'm blood That's even when I'm by myself. That's a fact. So, but 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 what was it that made you? Because I know you wasn't. Blood, I mean. Uh, what was it that made you say, fuck it? All right, so the racism, mm -hmm. the, the 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 Spanish, I, I love I love Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, y'all already know, but when we come to jail, it's different. And fortunately, in the streets, you could be best friends with Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, everything all good. Y'all eat together, grow together, fuck right. together, whatever. Shout out True Life, because that's one of my best friends in the world. Yes. He Puerto Rican. And what yeah, happens man. is when you when you go into this environment, it's like they got to choose a side. Yeah. Larry O, the, the MB, you know how many times they call Larry O, the Mac Baller? Okay. Larry O, you know how many times uh, me, that they called him a traitor because he's, he's mixed, he's Puerto Rican? So it's like uh, they look at you crazy because you're not siding with them, but you're just not racist. Yeah. You love everybody. That's what it is. But anyway, so I'm wild and I'm, I'm going to whatever building I'm doing what the fuck I want. I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. They heard about me. It's like, yo, what it is? Like, what's up? We want you to join the gang. I'm not, you know, they ain't saying it like that, but I'm just, and I'm like, I'm good. 
I'm good, but I know my man. You know how it go. Your man selling drugs, your man committing robbery. Or I'm fucking with my man. So majority of my men's is blood. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, all my people from my neighborhood, they blood. It was like, I was like, yo, fuck it. But I didn't, I really didn't know what I was getting into. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Yeah. But I did, it was with how they broke it down to me, like, yo, uh the 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 the, port, the Latin kings and the Etas, they're they're stealing from us. They're taking our clothes. They're doing this stuff. And it, even black people that's not gangsters, like they just there for a bullshit crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They rob. It's, it's different. If you do something to me, yeah. I'm with the shit. Yeah, let's get better. I'm with it. Let's go. Rug cutter, scalpel, whatever. Ice pick, whatever. Let's get it. I'm with it. That's my lifestyle. But they was doing that shit to kids that never been in jail before, never sold the drug, just got caught up on some bullshit. Yeah. And it was sad seeing them rob their lockers, cut them. And no fighting back. They just on the floor getting cut, stabbed, and they not fighting back or nothing. That shit is good. So, you know, OG Mac, you know. We're going to get into yeah, OG okay. Mac. So, that, all right, that, for me, all right, hold on. Let me rephrase that. Okay. For, this is on me. Okay. I came home. I turned blood. And then now I'm even more dangerous now because now I got a whole gang behind me. So now. Yeah, that was scary because you was a kind of, you was kind of, I'm not going to use a word that's, that's offensive, mm -hmm. but something was wrong with you. Back mm -hmm. then, I, I said it. Yeah, yeah. Way. Everybody said that I was yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm kinda I, cra like, I told you that Cisco. People thought I was crazy, and I thought he was listen, crazy. Listen, Cisco, to anybody, well, to nah, everybody. I'm blaming him. No, there's no, been times. No, 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 no. Let me cut you off because I know you, brother. There's been times when you were so totally sober. <laughs> totally sober. And I've seen you do some shit, and I'm like, this motherfucker's crazy. And I was crazy. Yeah. People thought I was crazy. Motherfuckers yeah. were like catastrophe. My name absolutely. was catastrophe yeah, because absolutely. I left. I, whatever I did, I left a catastrophe mm -hmm. behind. I, mm -hmm. I was proud of that shit back absolutely. then. Absolutely. And when I met Wow Child, I'm like, there's a motherfucker worse than me yeah, in the no world. <laughs> and and so when I, it it kind of because I'm up there for two shootings for mm -hmm. I, and then and then people came to me like, yo, your man is got life to the sun to the sun burnout. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so. This is another thing because on Vlad TV, Vlad TV, uh, number one, again, we a uh, blue boy, right? Blue boy went on Vlad TV. Bitch ass and, uh, nigga, blue boy. You said bitch ass nigga, blue. <laughs> so yo, check it out. Nah, nah, look, get... I'm not gonna be like, nah, nah, nah. oh, that's my man. He's nah, the but 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 you, you but, know that. I know that. But 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 you you familiar with Blue Boy? Absolutely. Y'all was what, what jail was y'all at? Too? Attica. Mm -hmm. Oh, two, oh, th oh, three, because I left for a, a, a separate incident. But I know that uh, Blue Boy was probably the only crip in the jail. But what he does, being that he's he's Spanish, he links up with the Spanish people. Like the, he, he at so that he's time, Spanish? yeah, he's been he fucking speak. He's with fucking with the Montaderos, <laughs> the Montaderos. He's fucking with the Montaderos. He's fucking with the Montaderos. They was over there, um, and he was this other guy. I hate to say his fucking name, but he's a blood fucking hater. Randy Love from Harlem. Okay. Them fucking two together is like ugh, the worst. So what happened is, I found I went from one block to another block. I went to that block. I was like, yo, they said Blue Boy. Say I'm a five star general at that time. A murder Red Side Gorilla Brim, five star general. So that's your enemy to the bone. Anybody, anybody that they the op, they fooled anywhere they go. If you shot blood, you fucking fooled. You gotta get shot. I was just in there with some some coward, weak niggas, some weak blood niggas, and I could say that in that block I was in, not in a block, a block. The gorillas is over there, so I'm in a block where it's, it's kind of like laid back. Nobody wants to do nothing. Everybody wants to chill. Mm. They send me to this fucking block. They oh son is blue boy said what? You gotta go. You can't stay in the jail. First thing I'm thinking, all right, he got to go. I'm I'm setting it up, though. I'm a five star. I'm setting it up like, yo, we're going to do this, the line is center third. Don't you know they went and fuck? They were so scared that they went and put them on point like, yo, son trying to get you out of here. Loose At the top, my name Loose Nick was in jail. This is different version, different name this time. Yeah. Loose Nick was the big hat. I told them, we got to get son the fuck out of here. What happened is they went and told them. I got into the yard. Not, I'm not on point about this. I'm not knowing. Got my gun on the string. And Attica, you know, they do the credit card swipe. Got to have that the razor on the string on the yard. The credit card swipe. What the fuck? The credit card when... swipe is these, these fucking faggot COs, they, when they searching you, 
they put they they fucking put their hand between your leg and like swipe your ass most tightly you're gonna reflex and wow and shit but after you get you know that that's part of the system it is what it is you put yourself in that position it is what it is sort of like getting stripped for so i'm going to the yard I'm I'm like I'm ready like son is got, he out of here these motherfuckers already told him so him and bitch ass Randy Love who got his fucking head blown off in Wendy's salute to the hat that did that uh, Randy Love and them approached me like yo son we heard you trying to get him out of here and all this I'm like I don't know what you're talking about. you know me yeah. I'm like I don't know what you're talking about I was like we good he was like you sure I'm like yeah we good so when they approached me like that you know I'm all automatically like hyped now like. I got to get my gun. I got to get my gun. But I'm thinking the niggas that told, they got to go too. They got to go. Somebody got somebody got to leave behind this shit. So an incident occurred in a yard at that time. Police had they snipe and shit like that. So I'm like, this is the perfect diversion. So I'm trying to get my fucking gun out to string my little scat, whatever. So I'm heading over there. But the fucking, uh, the, the CO in the tower got the, the snipe. The, he's got me in, in his fucking sights right here. So I was like, yo, son, the, the CO, they on you, they on you, they on you, they on you. I'm like, damn, I got to get this nigga, though. They on you, they on you. So whatever, everybody laid down the floor for the incident, whatever. I wound up going back to the block. Oh, okay, I told this guy that I know from the Bronx. I'm like, yo, son, I need you to, um, I'm about to shoot this kid because he put them on point. I need you to fucking When you just say knock shoot him, out. you mean cut him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Up north, all right. Up yeah, north, prison, y'all off. father, Vlad. You only gonna learn this on Vlad. When they say I shot somebody and they in prison, cut a stab. They mean they cut, cut you or, or stab you. you. There ain't no right. gun, so they just say yeah, I shot. So them. Like, you only gonna learn this on Vlad, no man. You only gonna learn this on the y'all. Um, nothing is off the bracket. This is different. So I'm like, yo, yeah. I'm like, all right. So I'm, I'm telling son, I brought him a kite. He fucking gives the guy a kite that I was because they know each other from the Bronx as well. Yeah. But still. Like, you could have just said, no, I'm not with it. You're going to give him the fucking kite. You're supposed to be my man. So I'm like, all right, you got to go. Your other mans and them got to go. If I can't get them now, I'm going to send somebody to handle them too because they put them for all, everybody You fooled. could do that because you the five whole, star. Yeah, too. absolutely. The whole block was fooled for that. Yeah. Are you fucking crazy? You put a, a well-known enemy on point because you scared to leave the jail? Why the fuck is you blood? Why did you fucking sign up? This is what you signed up for. It's go time at all time. You understand? So now... Uh, I get into an incident on a gallery. I go to clap the shit out this kid, but he was already on point. His gate, I don't, if you've been to Attica, you know how the cells is. Once they crack them, they loose and they slam back. Mm. He had the gate all the way open and he didn't leave his cell to line up like everybody else to go to chow. Yeah. So when I'm walking, I'm 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 on near the window part. This is the cells. So I'm like, I'm about to get as soon as I walk past his cell, he came out ready, like popped on me. I'm like, how? Like, how in my mind? And I'm that saying, was blue boy, one of blue boy. No, 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 no. That was um, uh, a kid from the Bronx that knows the other kid from the Bronx. But I'm trying to get into the blue boy. Oh yeah, thing. they put no. Yeah, he put yeah. them. He him him and his man put blue boy in them on point because they didn't want to fucking lead to jail. Okay. One, the his man is blood. The other kid that I that I clapped. His mm-hmm. man is blood. His man put them on point. Told him the setup that I wrote a kite. I'm trying to get them out of here. Okay. So I'm if I, if I can't get you him, I gotta get his man. Somebody gotta go. Nobody. So he was that, trying to get Blue Boy up out the spot. He gotta go. Absolutely, so, but th- it didn't happen that way because, because of what I was just telling you with the this other incident in the yard. Police had the, the gun pointed in my direction. Okay, so it y'all never happen. got a chance. No, to no, no. Him. We never, we never. At that point in time, we never. Did you did, see? Did you see Blue Boy's interview on Vlad TV? I a uh, poquito, a little, a, a little, little bit. A little. So let me tell you, because I know a lot of people uh, aside from you who familiar with Blue Boy. And one thing they all said was they was sad and disappointed to see him come home after doing all this time and be sitting on Vlad TV with the bandana. They was like, it wasn't even the shit that was coming out of his mouth. It was the blue bandana on his neck. Like mm-hmm. he's 50 plus or 50, oh, pushing 50. And he got a blue bandana on his neck and he's sitting here like, I like part of it is, is prison, right? And, 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 and one of his main things of even like claim to fame is because he killed Larry Davis, right? So when I spoke to you earlier about that, like while we were setting up for this interview, you made something very interesting. I, it always thought of me because he even, he even said it, like when he cut him, he cut him on the leg. He's, can I, yeah, please. Can I interject? All right, first of all, police don't like Larry Davis. Yeah. 
That was an accident murder. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. You didn't intentionally kill. You know how many incidents that we all been in in jail? If you willing to kill somebody, trust me, you could do it. We don't injure the kill. We injure, we want you to let, don't fuck yeah. with us. We stabbing you here, lung shots, whatever. Yeah. God forbid you die because that's another murder. Yeah. But we just want to make our mark, whether we fucking blowing your, your top yeah. off or stabbing you, whatever. This guy, for, all right, I wasn't in that particular jail. Yeah. So let's make that clear for the record. I wasn't in Shawanga at that time. Yeah. I wasn't there, but I know reliable sources that was there. Yeah. And what it is that the fucking COs did not come to the yard because he was bleeding. They, he bled to death only because the COs didn't come to the yard and give him the medical attention. Because they ain't fuck, cause they, That cause was an accident. Son, mm -hmm. when you're trying to kill somebody, I've been up top. I've seen some shit. I've seen knives come from here, out your fucking neck. They're going to neck stab you. They're going to neck shot you. They're going to lung hit you. Yeah. When you're trying to kill somebody, it's lung shots, neck shots. It's nothing else. You're right. Nah, same lung thing, shots, neck shots. So gun. he was trying same to, if he was trying to body, son, neck shot, yeah. body shot, same lung thing, shot. Same thing in the street. You shoot somebody in the Straight leg. like that. You shoot somebody in the leg, you ain't trying to kill him. That was, that's, you're trying to give him that a message. That was a famous thing when we was kids, shooting niggas in the yeah. leg to get your name known. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fuck out of here. That was an accident Legend. murder. Legend. He had no intentions of killing this guy. Yeah. Don't come up here like, oh, everybody's happy that did. You, that wasn't your fucking intention. Because, yeah. and uh, trust me, I, I can't say too much, but yeah. if I trust me, I know when that when you want to kill somebody, you're gonna get the job done like that, and it's nothing. Don't try to come up here and make it like you did that on purpose. If the COs would have came in the yard, they would have patched him up. And he would have been good and that would have been that. And the only thing you would have heard is that, oh, Blue Boy and Larry Davis got it on. In fact, when I left Attica, when I left Blue Boy, I landed right next to Larry Davis in Upstate Box. And he's a fucking, he, uh, matter of fact, he's gone. Let me not even say that. I'm not going to say nothing among the dead. But go ahead. Damn, 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 shit. That's a lot. <laughs> because people so, look at him. No, because people look at Larry Davis like, I don't know, but yeah. people come to prison and change. They kind of lose their fucking mind. So I, don't, the same I, individual. I don't know if it's true or not, but I don't know if you heard, but allegedly Blue Boy, there's a video out going out on the internet right now that he he's back in prison for a, a new murder, right? So now I correlate it like this because I spoke to a, a lot of my friends. A lot of my guys, being the y'all father, Saigon, the y'all, like the y'all father's a jail. I'm a jail encyclopedia. Like I grew up there, a lot of my friends there, like, like, uh, that's like, like, like Nichols, like Wild Child, right? So a lot of them was disappointed because they said, when they seen him on Vlad with the blue bandana, they said that was a in direct motherfucking instant that this nigga's going back to jail. Hold on, mm -hmm. real quick. They said they, they could almost, Count, a countdown to when he goes back to jail because he's mm -hmm. on Vlad TV. And uh, so when when no, me knowing you and loving you as my brother, like, mm -hmm. and I know how 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 in, entrenched you are in the game, mm -hmm. right? How are you now that you home and you free? Are you just so loyal to the gang? You like, I'm willing to go out there and die for the gang and I'm do some- I'm not active, I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm not active. You think I would have been home this long and active? Listen, <laughs> salute the La Brim, salute the Lario. They came home, they was active. They back, unfortunately. I love them. Those are my brothers. They official. It's nothing you can say about them. They are official to the bone gristle, never told, put in mad work, official. But they had their shot. Mm. I got my shot finally. They all went home before me. Yeah. They got their shot, they back. I'm home. For me, it's like this. I tried so hard to get home, Lord Library. But I thought I was gonna die in jail. I never thought I was gonna see 18, let alone fucking how old I am now. So I'm looking at it like, yo, if I make it out of here, it was 2000, I was in Sullivan. It was 2012, going into 13. Um, Taylor Swift was on 42nd Street doing her music thing, whatever. And going into the 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 ball drop, I was on my fucking knees praying. Begging, like, please let get me, me get out, out of here. here. Please, God, back. let That's me get I out did. of here. Please, I, I beg you, I'm not coming back. Man. Um, A lot of times in that era right there when I was in Sullivan, I'm on my downtown because I'm about to go see my boy. So a lot of shit that I would never let slide, ever, I had to let slide. So let me ask you a yeah. question. Does dropping your, does not being active, is that the same as dropping no, your flag? No, active is like this. Before you go home, you're not active. So hold on, that's, that's, so that's it. Dropping your flag mean I'm out. Not being active is like you, no. A man, dropping a flag I'm, is you're done. Active if if you got nine when you 
any 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 brim member, blood member, whatever, on your way home, whenever you get short, you're no longer active. Because you're about to go home, which you're going to still be doing dumb shit and get caught up and don't make your home. So what about the guys in the street who don't even do dumb shit, who never put in no work, but they blood, they call themselves... They self- fashion bloods. They rapper bloods. They not really blood. They didn't put in no fucking work. They don't even know the niggas that they glorify and state their names. Oh, shout out the lie and all that. Them niggas never met La Brum. Niggas never met Elo. Never met my son Noble, AKL Nitty, the murder side, psych brim. Y'all never met these people. Would y'all worship them and y'all don't put in no fucking work? They made all these sacrifices. Never y'all father, Vlad TV. Nothing is up. Putting in work mean doing doing shit. Like, like you can't be a gangbanger if you don't actually do gangbanging shit. Like, un- it's unfortunate, but that's what it is. You can't, you ain't gonna say a guy say, I'm in the mafia, but I don't do crime. The shit just don't work like that. So, and that's what it's we a fad. Up. It's a fad. They made it like yeah. a fucking fad. Yeah, that's we we started it to protect us because the fucking land king Nyanta was robbing and I w- I hate to use the word bully because we was all t- we, you know I was in the street. Yeah. But to kids that's getting locked up for bullshit, they should not be subjected. They should stay in the sprungs. Yeah. The sprungs is for them, not the building. Yeah. You understand? And when y'all doing what y'all doing, cutting and stabbing them on some uh, manito, nieta, nieta shit. Oh, matter of fact, I was in the sprungs. Oh, I got a gun charge. I'm, 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 I'm sleeping. This is before I went to the building. It was a dude named M.O. Everybody know M.O. Uh, a bunch of nietas climbed under beds like they like this on some military shit. And I just seen all of them jump up and start cutting and stabbing the dude, just sitting. And I'm like, yo, ain't nobody going to fucking help him. Mind you, I'm just coming to jail. I don't know nothing about not- I never heard of this shit ever in my life. Wow. And I'm mm-hmm. I'm looking at this shit like, yo, mm-hmm. nobody, nobody going to help. Nobody going to do nothing. I ain't have no at the time, yeah. at that time right there. But I'm just saying like, yo, so respect ask- to the bloods because if without them, the fucking state would still be ran by fucking Latin kings in the Yetta. So... You been home. You just, you you been home briefly and shit. And and but being in prison twenty two years, you know, like you said, you've been in jail more than you've been in the street, right? Yeah. So how do you? What's your plans on from like from the day from 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 adapting to now? Like you said, it, you said it yourself. There's a big adaption from Major. prison life to this. So Major. so and, and like you said, you're not active. Mm-hmm. So I just want to know, like. How do you separate living a productive life from falling back into that lifestyle? Well, you got it. You might have to. Listen, I will tell you this. Am I safe walking around with you? Like if, if me and you, you walking safe. down the yeah, street, absolutely. nigga, be like, there go nickels. Nah, 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 yeah. nah, nah. You safe. You safe. Uh, the thing is this with me, right? Um, by the grace of God, He blessed me with intelligence, education, and things that I've learned when I was prison. Prison can be the greatest learning institution in the world. Yeah, facts. If you make it that. Facts. I made a decision. I did a business plan in prison to start a company. I did a publish a, a, a business plan for my publishing company, for my fashion company. I had everything mapped out. I had like a thousand songs. I lost them going on a draft. You know, they be packing your shit up, whatever. I went, um, I was in a shelter. I lost 500 more in there. So like, I was like, fuck music. I'm done with it. I, I kind of quit. I was like, I'm in the fashion. That's it. I'm going to just do fashion, swag kings in New York fashion. That's what I was going to do. That's what I know, man. So right now, from time to, from the time I go home to now, it's like, you so thankful and grateful to be home. Matter of fact, I was in a welfare center one time, right? I came home recently, whatever. And they trying to drag, this chick trying to drag the chick from behind the counter while on her shit because she's waiting too long beefing. Every, all of us, we got the tent, the, the tent, you know, the shit that you come home with. And we happy, we smiling, we like, yo, it's lit, we seeing kids, we just happy, we excited every fucking day, we happy to be free after doing so much time, it's, we never miserable. The fucking chick had the nerve to come up to us and I was like, yo, why the fuck y'all smiling and laughing for? What's, y'all see something fucking funny? So my man, he knows me very well. Yeah. He knows me very well. He grabbed me, he was like, yo, shorty, Understand, we just came home, all of us together came home, we did at least 130 years together. He did 22, I did 30, he did 20 something, something. He was like, yo, you wildin' coming up. She was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I all woke him home. I didn't know. But she ain't know that something could have happened to her just that quick from what, because that's like crazy. You understand? Nah, like, that's crazy, man. That shit crazy. And, and me knowing you before, before you went to before you did this time, yeah. before the gang shit, I always known, even when you was wildin', when we got to know each other. 
cut like they used to call us brothers. And that reminds me because we always had good, even though we was shooting people, robbing people, doing dumb shit, we had, we we called ourselves moral criminals. Like we had morals. Like we had a big heart. So mm-hmm. if you see a young kid today, right? Mm-hmm. And he wants you see he's he's green, right? Yeah. He wants to join the Bloods. He Hell wants- no. Hell no. <laughs> good, good. I would say hell no. Fuck no. It's not real anymore like it was. It had a oh, let me rephrase that. It was a cause. It's different from LA. LA, that shit is a lifestyle. Yeah. I understand that completely. That is a lifestyle over there from the born up. That's all good. That's West Coast LA. That's not East Coast shit right there. Yeah. I would never tell nobody to be blood or be a part of any fucking gang. Facts, facts. For one, facts. <laughs> And I wanted to ask you that because you come from music first, mm-hmm. like being down with the Bounce Squad mm-hmm. and being, mm-hmm. and you being one of the first rappers on mixtapes. Mm-hmm. There's one thing I noticed, right? Because right now, rappers getting killed, rappers dying, rappers not only just dying, but getting caught up, not going to prison, but RICO. RICO mm-hmm. charges is something that's, that, that the government was smart enough to put that, manipulate the system and say, oh, this shit, this is how we brought down the mafia. We could use this same, hold on, we could, yeah, yeah, Giuliani. We could use the same shit that Giuliani got to, to take Giuliani. down the mom. Fuck Giuliani. Yeah. All them guys, right? Tacky, fuck you too. Yeah, yeah, they fucked us up, right? But they using the same shit to bring down gangs that they used to bring down the mafia, right? The RICO law, mm-hmm. the, the RICO act, right? Mm-hmm. So when you see all of these artists, right, from Young Thug to uh, now Sue Surf, who's a battle rapper, so I know well, I don't give a fuck about them, yeah. but the point is, right? There's a correlation between even the ones who get killed. God bless, God bless Nipsey Hussle. Mm-hmm. God bless Pop Smoke. Mm-hmm. God bless. It, there's there's a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. Even Cass is in, is jammed up, right? Mm-hmm. So one thing to me, I noticed the commonality is gangs. All mm-hmm. of these guys who are getting Rico laws are getting killed young, is attached to either blood, Crips, folk. GDs, like some kind of gang life, right? Do you see, what, is that a coincidence with that, that correlation? Nah, you? the feds made it a, a without, because I, I, I didn't want to cut your wisdom, but what I'm telling you, in a certain year, I don't remember, but I was in South Fort Box and I got a paper that says they making out a terrorist act. Gang shit. Bloods, crypt, they making out a terrorist act. That's how they was going to get us. I don't know if the, the law got overturned, but this is federal, not State. state they yeah. making it a terrorist act. If you're a part of a gang, that's a terrorist act now. I guess they wanted to be very strict on that because of how it was dis- uh, impacting the community yeah. terribly. But I never thought it would reach out in the street. I thought it was just jail. Because like I told you, I never heard of Latin King yet that until I went to jail. Yeah. I've heard of blood from So what happened the was, I'm going to tell you what happened. We was coming home. When we start coming home, the rappers wanted to be like us. Mm-hmm. So they started, yeah, the rappers, and they made it. We want to be like them. That's the no, reason why. I, that's the reason why when I got out of prison, anybody knows my career, mm-hmm. uh, because you you was in prison still. So mm-hmm. like you you wasn't abreast of this. Everybody, with, 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 with my rap sheet and my background, I could have been the biggest gangster rapper in the world. But all my raps was positive. <laughs> like I, was, I was on some Save the Children shit. Mindset. Yes, my mindset, my mindset was different. And I'm like, you know what? Ain't no way in hell going through this shit, going through seeing what my brother's going through, what I went through. I'm going to come home and glorify this shit and send a bunch of kids up in the Attica, up into Shawanga, up into fucking uh, Southport. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. Because I understood. I I understood. I like this guy. I like this guy because yeah. no, I like you because what you know, you're saying. And, and you know, I like you because what you're saying is true, right? This is what it is, right? Any gangster, any killer, anybody who been through the system and lived a certain life, yeah, you yeah. do not come home <laughs> no and way. be preaching to the kids, tell them yo, join nah. the gang, go kill us. You nah, do the complete opposite because you lived it and you want to avoid that for them. Like yeah. I don't want you to experience my experience. Word. That shit is crazy. Even it's Larry like, Hoover, Larry Hoover, who was one of the. No, most mm. notorious gang leaders in mm-hmm. history, right? Just put out some shit with like telling everybody, like, I had it wrong. Absolutely. This shit is wrong. This shit ain't right. We ain't even so, know what the fuck was going on. Oh, I, I, it's so much I can say. I, I, got, I do got to tread lightly. A lot of the information we knew about blood at that time was wrong. Yeah. We don't ride the five. Stones ride the five. You'll hear certain people, I don't want to say their name, give them light. 
Yo, that five, that five, no. That's Stones. Stones ride the five. Read your what history. What the fuck does that mean, ride the five? What is that? Is there a meaning uh, to I don't want to. Yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, it, it's, I mean, it's, I could, I, I, could, I don't want to. All right. My thing is, um, it's just certain codes on uh, loyalty, honor, respect, love, shit like that. Ride yeah. the five. It was like, um, when, when this shit started, you gotta remember, man. I told you it started because we was fucking getting killed but you, by the. But, I'm, but, but you didn't start it. And no, I didn't. We're gonna get into mm-hmm. we're gonna get into that as well it. because I'm familiar with that. I only love on, only on Vlad. Yeah, I, we gonna teach them. We gonna give y'all a lesson. I love to giving. Oh look, let me get back to him. Yeah. So what he said is like anybody I know that did the much time is out there. Uh, it's a guy that I don't fuck with right now, right? And though I don't fuck with him, I'm gonna give him his props. Tank. Tank. tank no, not, not Tank. Hell head. no. Oh, all fuck right, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. He know who I'm talking okay. about. Tank know who I'm talking say about. Say less. Tank. I was with Tank in Easton. Say less. I never was a fan of Tank or whatever, but I gotta say Tank. Um, that's another kid name. I think his name is Trey. You mean Tank? Um, yeah, Short, Tank, Trey, Tank. Yeah, he does a lot for the I community. In I was in Easton with Tank. Okay, so you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So this guy right here, he does, he did a lot of time. He does so much for the community. He's in with the legislators yeah, and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Shout He's out to promoting. Tank. Yeah, that's my boy. And yeah. like I said, this is not a person that I I deal with like that. But yeah. I didn't. I'm just because I don't like or deal with you. Not I'm gonna give you your flowers and your props. You did all that time. You came home. You hit the ground running on positivity. Yeah. I got some shit with Yandy called um um Yandy Smith. Shout out to Yandy. Um, yeah, shout, out to Yandy. shout out to Mendes's Yandy. Shout out to shout out to Yandy. So I family, can't. Family, so family. Yandy, baby Junior, Yandy, baby no, Junior. Yeah, this is, listen, God. this is how me Tank and all of them we was doing. It's it, Yandy has something called Kings Kill, Stop Killing Kings. So yeah. it's a bunch of people, um, Quell and Nolan was there. It was a bunch of people just speaking about, you know, the prison system and how not to go there and what not to do or how we was babies and shit like that. But Tank, very heavy on that. So when I met Yandy, she was like, yo, I, I told her, yo, I did it my time. She was like, yo, listen, I want you to be on King Stop Killing Kings next year. I was supposed to speak, but you know, COVID and all of that shit happened, whatever yeah. like that. So anybody that's lived that life, if you ever hear them say, Oh, yo, go pick up a gun, dude. They didn't live that life. They just fucking running their fucking mouth. Because when you experience this shit, you don't want nobody to experience this shit right after. You don't. You don't. Real shit. Not no kids. They don't deserve that. Yeah. They let them fucking be kids. The fuck out of here. But y'all, you know, you got the poisoners, the motherfuckers that be using you. Like, you know, when you was a kid, you was, you was a drug runner. You started, you riding your bike, whatever. So these dudes poison these kids out here and they dead wrong for that. Yeah. Because they wouldn't want it done to their family. It's so- different. No, 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 you're right. You dead you dead right. And that's the reason why once I once I realized that they were gonna promote put money to promote my voice, whatever I had to say to the kids. Like, cause they say hip hop is a youth game. Like, this is for kids. This ain't for adults. This shit is the kids is what makes thing everything trendy, what makes things hot. I'm like, y'all not gonna make me promote violence and going to jail the same way as hip hop is over sexualized right now. Everything is there's a song called My Booty Hole Brown. My coochie pink, my booty hole brown. I heard it on the radio mm-hmm. the other day. And I was disgusted. I'm mm-hmm. like, who's allowing this shit to go? Mm-hmm. I got young daughters. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But do the knowledge. Just give it, like, I'm, I, I'm thinking and I'm going, how y'all going to try to use me to destroy my own people? And y'all don't look like me. That's not going to happen, number one. And when I see other people do it, I lose respect for them. I don't give a fuck how much money you talk about, but I got money. But look what you look look what you had to do to get that money. So that that all money ain't good money, right? I was I never went for that. But this ain't about me. This is about this is about you. Hold on. Hey, I wanna, most I wanna people interject, know my interject though. I want to interject. interject. I have to interject. Please, Listen, please. You are a different type of individual. God made you unique in who you are, right? We all are. Okay, but every you got to do a work for you, and everybody else got to do a work for them. Um. If this is into the business is called entertainment. Hollywood is what made me. I watched Men in Society, fucking King of New York, um, Godfather. Yeah. That's what I'm hype off the movies. Me too. I wasn't hype off the music because back when I grew up, no music too. Me. No, yeah, but I'm saying I, when I technically I, I am 45 years old. Me too. So if I'm 45 years old, we I mean up, I grew up, up with Public movie. Enemy, X Clan, yeah. um, 
Oh yeah, I'm yeah, missing yeah. some people. They had positive brand, impact, brand Nubian. Brand Nubian. They had yeah. positive music. Q Tip. Uh, what's the name of them? Tribe Called Quest. Quest. Yeah. All of these groups was positive music. Yeah, it didn't affect. It, you. Posi- it didn't affect me. <laughs> But the movies, <laughs> the movies that still today, they got yeah. the video games, um, all, Grand Theft Auto. Contra, all, 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 all but like, when we was young, it was Contra. Niggas yeah, was like, it niggas. wasn't like Grand Theft Auto. I know, but we was like, shit, yeah. but, but it was, bro, no we question. was shooting. We was but shooting you people. got violent video games. You got fucking violent movies everywhere. It's not on hip hop. It's and, and it's on yeah. hip hop to a, no, no, no. It's on hip hop to an extent. Um, as far as like what you saying, we supposed to protect the youth. We're not supposed to, but this is entertainment. Mislead them, yeah. But but hold on, but this is entertainment. Just like I actually lived everything these rappers be talking about. Yeah. Where people are speaking about shit that's actually like current events that's occurring. Yeah. Some rappers they overdo it like they actually did it. Y'all not active. I know y'all. Some of y'all's pussy. I know y'all personally. Y'all front and some of y'all's rats. Some of y'all rats on the low. Yeah. Y'all know I fucking know. Don't front. That's what I wanted However, to get into it. That's what I wanted to get into. Speaking of you said rats, right? Other than Lou, little boosie, oh, no, I, 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 because I mean we could we could talk okay, about I got who's you, fake. I got you, I got you, I got you. A, a lot we know these guys ain't real. These guys are cartoons. And, and, and I'm glad you said that, but hip hop does. Because they never been in jail. They be talking all this shit. They never yeah. fucking been in jail a day in their life. You can't do yeah. all the shit you talking if you've never been in a no, pen not at or all. got murdered. Not at all. It's only no. two ways out in this fucking game. Yeah. That's jail yeah, or death. death. And it's never going to change. That's a fact. That's a fucking Fendi fact. fact. Yeah, you're not going to see a, a real gangster all of these years, on the beach. Yeah, y'all doing this shit. Coke, and y'all yeah, don't yeah, never go to jail. Yeah, no. Never get, never, nobody never snitched on you, told on you. You're no. crazy. The ratting is at an all time Huh. Speaking of that, other than Lil Boosie, right, who's a very, very good friend of the show, Vlad TV, shout out Boosie. You probably the only person other than Boosie that I heard with the strong distaste for rap snitches. You, 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 oh, you yeah. t- when, when, when you bring that up, you say they should, they all deserve headshots. Facts. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Only if you was in the street. No, no, no. If you tell on somebody, if you a civilian, say you nine to five, that shit don't, that yeah, don't, don't apply, apply to me. Yeah. You could tell all you want, yeah. it doesn't apply. Yeah, that's your right. It's your exactly. right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You depend on the police to protect you. Facts. That's I don't have no issue with that. Yeah. But I have an issue where motherfuckers who take that who who enter this game right here and yeah. know it's no fucking snitching. And you could get knocked for a gun. Five say you gotta do five years. You gotta do five years. Why the fuck would you tell on somebody for a body? Because you don't wanna do five years. You was there when that person caught the body, you know where it's buried at and everything, and you're gonna make this take this. This man is chilling now. He's not even in the game no more. He's feeding his family, his girls. He done started a business. He owned a restaurant. And now you're gonna, because there's no um, statutory limitations on murder. Right. So now, because you don't wanna do your fucking time, you wanna tell on this man, take him away from his fucking family, you deserve a headshot. You deserve a headshot. Yeah. You're wrong for that. You're wrong for snitching, period. If you're in the streets, that's the you're fucking right. cold. No fucking snitching. So what's, what's what's happening now is these guys who get caught up, who not from the, st- the lifestyle we from, right? Mm-hmm. They get caught up in it because it's marketable. So this whole shit, you know, the, the sign, the blood shit, it, it, it sells in music, mm-hmm. right? But the thing is, so to gang be, shit, period. To check it out, gang shit, right? But but to really to, to authenticate it, they gotta involve themselves. You no know, example, like a guy like da- Daniel Hernandez, aka uh, Six Nine, Takashi Six Nine, right? A guy who, yeah, this is a perfect example, right? So when when people are like, oh, he ain't stand tall. Like he, he he was supposed to I don't, stand I don't, tall. I don't agree with that. Look, hold on. Right, exactly. Right, though. Okay, so, guys, so yes, guys. Let me get my, let me get to my point. So now Troy Ave, right? Troy Ave and Tax Stone. Him? Yeah. What? He he's supposed to stand. He's supposed to stand tall. He's supposed to stand because he's a Absolutely. street guy. And and the reason why he's a street guy. Well, he's supposed to be. It's, that's the way I think he represent. But you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad you. Cor- I love correction. I'm glad. And I'm he's not going to say. To be a street I'm guy. not going to say nothing bad about Troy Ave because if you told fuck you, you I'm had a, shot. I'm gonna take, if you told, come on, if he, you took the stand and you was in the street, fuck you, die slow. I don't have no remorse for anything that happened to you. All rats got to die. I can't talk bad about Troy All Ave rats because, got to die. Fuck Troy, Troy, Ave, Troy Ave, I'm gonna tell you something. Troy Ave, dealt with my, Troy Ave dealt with my baby moms right yeah. after me. Mm-hmm. And the last thing I need, fuck, not, not, I'm not gonna say fuck her, but 
respectfully, Erica. Me and you, you know, you know, we stand. We, 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 we st- but that's the that's, that's the mother. Talk about the gangster shit, Troy. Yeah, that's the mother. That's the mother. That's the mother. That's the mother. You from Brooklyn? You disgrace the borough. <laughs> you disgrace the borough. You bitch ass, weak ass nigga. <laughs> Hold up. That's the mother. My, that's nigga. the mother of my son, and my son is lives with me, growing. He grow, I'm raising him. So I would hate for he he gets on the internet and goes crazy. I would hate for him to do that with. I don't care about, well, I don't gonna say I don't care about it, but that's the mother of my son. So I'm not gonna say anything. You can say whatever you want about the kid. I ain't got nothing to say about the kid because if you say something wrong that and my son that I'm gonna I say no, I'm gonna I'm get, I'm go, get your, gonna I get your stance. Of, yeah, I get your yeah, stance. Yeah, like yeah. I fucking said, yeah. if you're not in the streets, tell all you fucking want. But when you're in the fucking streets and you take that call or you yeah. part of a fucking game, you know one of the main rules is no fucking telling. Death before this honor. Amurta. We sign up. We sign up Amurta, for it. Amurta, code of silence. That's it. Yeah, we sign up for it. We sign up for Come it. Come on. It, it, that's why I, yeah. you know how many, you think I've never been approached by the police? Yo, you want to give some of the time? Yo, who, give me some information on some people in Queens. This and that. I'm like, eat a dick. Fuck, get the fuck. I'll do my time. I'll Six, die in here. I'll be- do 66. I'll die in here before I fucking put somebody else in here with me. This is the worst yeah. place you could be. Wow. Why would I want somebody else to take my fucking place and wow. take away from their family and their loved one? What type of sucker shit is that? It's, it's, you shouldn't have said, listen, whatever exactly you sign what up you for, whatever you shit. sign up for, you got to handle it and hold it down. Yeah. Pistol Pete, sex, money, murder. They put his mother on the stand. They tried to put his mother in jail. He took everything. Fresh Never told to this day. Fresh he in a fucking fed somewhere underground. Rod Diggs. Rod Diggs. No oh, one. wait. Rod Diggs. I ain't, even, I ain't even think about Rod, Rod Diggs. Fresh Shout out tissue. to Rod Diggs. Yo, Rod, free Rod Diggs. Man. Free, Rod Diggs is official. So some official tissue ones out I'm in there. Southport Box 2007. Shackled up, you know, on a box, whatever. I'm in level one pen. You know, they don't even take the box off or nothing. Rod Diggs is coming to see Soul B. Rod Diggs come see So B. He left So B. Guess what he did? Ten minutes later, guess who he came back? To see the um Hamo from Queens, the G Shot Hamo. Rod Diggs is official. You know how many dudes go home and, and forget about every fucking yeah, body cool. in jail and cool. say fuck they was every they was the comrades eating together every fucking day. And now you go home, it's fucking nigga. So Rod, please, you rap, man. Rod Diggs. And, and the, I'm not talking to the young kids who don't know no better, who've been influenced. Rod Diggs, salute. Shout out to Rod Diggs, shout out to all the real. Oh, oh. And, and I'm not blood, but I know what it means to be real right. Shout out to all the real yes. rights, right? Yes. That means you a stand up guy. I ain't got nothing to do with no gang shit, but real is real. And another thing I want to say is like these these, these rappers, man. Like I'm not I'm not talking to the young ones because I've been young before. We were like I said, we was kids. Yeah, reckless. robbing, stealing. The maturity level shit. is not there. It's yeah, not there. I shot women, I, and out and. Well, I don't Listen, that, but shit. chick is. Hold on, let me cut you. No, no. Chick is in it. No, I want to say this because I don't. I don't discriminate. If you are a chick and you're not in the streets, don't fucking touch it. Don't do shit to her. But if you in the streets setting dudes up for robberies, getting them robbed, killed, shit like that, you fear fucking game. If you set my man up to get robbed and killed in a hotel, you fear game. You could get your head blown the fuck off straight up. A woman, it doesn't matter. If you in this game like us. And you setting people up to get killed and robbed. I agree. I, you deserve that. But I don't that's care. my old, my old. I'm, Fuck I'm, yeah. that. No, no. That only we we protect women that are not involved in the streets. They're doing. They're working. They they're not involved in the street yeah. shit. Take so we don't want thing. nobody to rape them. We don't want nobody to put their hands on them. You should not touch them. But if you in the street. You know, look at Griselda Blanco. Griselda Blanco the ki- is, is resp- responsible for like 200, 300 murders. She killed her own son. They was all in the streets. They was all in the gang. So imagine Griselda Blanco. She tried to, you think I won't get her, I won't fucking blow her fucking top off? She got to go before they get me. <laughs> Straight up. That's real shit. Damn. Nah, I, Pablo was trying to get I, her listen, head blown listen, the fuck listen, off. Listen, listen, listen. I've, I've been in incidents where I had to do, I had to, Use a firearm against a female. Was she in the streets? Yeah, at one million percent. Okay, so it, it, it's okay. Because nah, guess it, what? It, this is okay. why it's, it was okay when this I was. Why in hindsight, I don't think this it was is okay. why it's okay. This in hindsight, is why it's okay. No, 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 no. Because she would have, she would have left you. No, she killed me. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. So who's who's who? Life is more oh, important at that time. Yeah, yeah. Mine's are yours. She if you got a gun pointed at me, you fear fucking game. She was drug addict, but she didn't do anything. I have no problem with that. So let me ask you a question, right? Because you, I think you answered it already. Because this is something I've seen on the internet lately, and you a jail guy, and this is 
You a jail guy. I'm, I'm, I'm the yard guy. father. I'm the I'm a jail Whatever, guy. I'm, I'm a jail guy, I'm right? Home. Fuck so that what, shit. is there a difference between ratting, snitching, and telling? No. Cooperating. No. So they all the same. Wait, shit. no, 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 no. Cooperating, it is a difference. Uh cooperating is like say um I get into a car accident, um, and or anything happen, they be like, yo, he cooperate, he not corroborate, he, like no. corroborating somebody's story. Not corroborate, no, no. cooperate. cooperate. Yeah, cooperate. You could cooperate like without resistance, like, yeah, I fucked up this and the third. That's cooperating as far as yeah, but the police asked you question and yeah. you then wasn't like, fuck you, get out of my face. Copy. If you say, I mean, you, you didn't, you you're didn't. not snitching on nobody. You're saying, oh, I, my leg or whatever, I was in an accident. You're cooperating. But so what's the, so ratting, telling, and snitching snitch, is all the all same, the same so. thing. So I, I could agree. Like, all the to same me thing. at the end of the day, it's all the same shit. If you do something that it, to get yourself out of some shit to put somebody else in it, that that's you are telling. one of the worst people on a, you come second to child molesters and rapists. You come second to that. Rats come second to child molesters and rapists. Straight up. I I concur. I concur. I concur. So let me ask you a question. I think you answered this too. Because I talked to a young I talk, I, I say the same thing you said earlier about about the whole blood and crip shit being some LA based shit. But if you ask a kid, it's been in New York for almost 25 years now, right? Mm-hmm. And I mean, for, it's built from OG Mac and to Dead Eye. To this, from, to Dead Eye. Shout out to Dead Eye. That's my guy right there. Billy so, Badass. To, to, you know, to, to, non sex grenade. So, so check it out. When, when you see how it, how it spilled into the street, a kid who's 12 years old, 13, who's been a blood since he's 13, and now he, he became a blood in 05, whatever. When he was twelve, he he gonna disagree with you saying you ain't a real blood or this ain't this. Ain't. So so uh, well, New York who, bloods who said real he wasn't blood? a real blood. Oh, no 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 New York. All right, so look. Yeah. All right, this is how this go. Because this something right, on Vlad at, t- only on Vlad. All right, TV, you look at it like one. this. All right, so on the Watts riots in in L. A. Um, after the Watts riot, um, the gangs that emerged from that riot, B. L. A. Black Liberation Army, B. P. P. Black Panther Party. BGF, Black Guerrilla Family, and UBN. Now, whether it stood for Black United Panther Black Panther wasn't Nation, a gang, though. Black Panthers wasn't a gang, bro. It's a move. These yeah, none of these was. This is what I'm trying to explain oh, yeah, they, to you. They were none of these started as gangs. Okay. These became gangs later through okay. however it became gangs. None of them yeah. shits was gangs. They was yeah. for the people. United Black Nation, United Blood Nation, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Black people called each other Bloods in the army. Yeah, of course. What's up, Blood? What's That's up, my blood. blood. Yeah, because we. Fucking, we are fucking yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Facts. It's a whole bunch of white people over there, and it's, it's us over yeah, here. Yeah. They don't fuck with us. We don't fuck with them. It is what it is. Yeah, sure. So that's how it was. That's where the, the fucking word blood derived from. So I got my name from a book called Bloods, that, you understand? Which, which was Vietnam War, mm-hmm. Vietnam soldiers yeah. who would make excerpts and, and some reading it, they called each other blood. Yeah. Your, your piece, blood. And if you exactly. and when we was growing up He's old so school, mighty. that's how old school niggas used to talk to themselves. What's up, blood? Absolutely. That's why they call young people young blood. Come here, young blood. Absolutely. When we, when and we, and we that's where the word derived from. Yeah. The thing, uh, and, and, and by the way, blood stands for um, black love. I mean, black revolutionary love override the oppression and destruction. Black love override oppression and destruction. So why we all kill each other then? I, th- I don't mean, know no bloods that got beef with Anybody other than black. I mean, you gotta understand. In the streets. This. Nah, I'm not all talking right, about Puerto Because to me, Puerto Ricans are black too. We go through the same shit. Nah, I fuck. Cause we all fuck with each other. We exactly. all in one pot. So okay? why? So why do you think? Listen, that, why, okay. let me. All right, this is how it happens. Go ahead. So if you shoot my brother mm-hmm. and kill him, and you happen to be affiliated, I'm not letting that fucking go. So I, I, it, it keeps going on. So I kill you. Somebody killed me. Oh, that, I'm somebody's cousin, brother, nephew, uncle. Mm-hmm. And the shit go on. A lot of times, even in a state right now, um, I used to be like, yo, we could organize financially if we just stuck together. If it was MS-13s and the, the, the worst people that you could think of in a jail for just for us to continue to unite. What happened is we dominated. We killed every gang. Every gang you could think of, blood dominated, took over every jail, whatever. So what happened is, it's like we got like they got bored. That's what it seems. We so used to going to war with different gangs, and now it's nobody to fucking go to war because we done dominate everybody. So now, what about in the street? We start so you, going. 
But yeah, I guess it's we trickling. start going at each other, Copy. and now this shit trickles into the street. Copy. Copy. So now it's Brimstone they over here, um, NYB, UBN they over like everybody is different and separated. The separation is what caused more bullshit to happen out here. Versus versus um us being united like it was like i said it started for a cause when that cause was removed so so we're gonna get i'm, I'm gonna mm -hmm. touch on something real quick I and mean, this is kind of sensitive shout shout to my brother uh <laughs> my brother don q shout to don q the rapper no 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 not the rapper the the the, the, the gangster okay the the the, the, the ex-gangster right because mm -hmm. we all we all changed our lives up mm -hmm. right and um OG Mac is his co-defendant. So there was a story there was a story I heard that you kind of corroborated mm -hmm. the story <laughs> about how somebody who called OG Mac a rat and sing sing got killed by it. Yes. My man, my man, um, shout out to Maya, Mike, Champ. This is they this is their family. Maya. You yeah, know, know, you know, know Champ. Know yeah, I know. This is Champ, Maya, this is their brother. Yeah. Well, Champ's cousin. That's yeah. Champ's cousin, but Mike's brother. Bosco was um a, a, my friends they they like my family but I never met Bosco but I know that's a brother. Bosco was in Sing Sing, and you know he was promoting that OG Mac shit as a rat shit. Yeah. Now mind you, OG Mac was God. I'm just letting you know that yeah. in the prison he was God. I know. Whatever I was, I was, he say, yeah, it's happening. Facts. <laughs> Facts. So this nigga calling OG Mac a rat. Now mind you, we ain't know that he was. So, and um, they stab um Bosco in the neck. Neck shot. See what I'm saying? Look, see what I'm saying? If you want to kill somebody, what do you do? Stab him in the neck. If you really so want to kill him, they meant to kill him. They meant to kill him. They stabbed him in the neck. He bled. He, you know, Blood the juggler. Out. All this shit. He died just for calling OG Mac a fucking rat. And it's so funny. And kind of find out years later. Yeah, he was a fucking rat. He was a rat. But not while he was blood. Prior, but to him starting prior, blood. Yeah, yeah. He was, he, a case in the eighties. Yeah. And which, that's which who, I'm very friends with the guy he told on. And it's fucked up to have to live with that. Like, cause I done I done shot those in the state um because I took an order. Before I became the big hat, before I was the generals and all of that, I was a fucking soldier. So is that behind you? The gang shit? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, I fuck with a select a few that I know, but I'm not uh, as far as the uh the overall big picture. Now I'm on some, I'm promoting different things. Now my mind works different. I salute all the real ones. I don't fuck with, you think I just fuck with anybody? Anybody can't piece me east side or brim line. I'm like, who are you? Where I know you from? Yeah. What's the history? Like, what's up? These niggas out here is uh, fashion bloods, rapper bloods. They ain't put in no work. They didn't do shit yeah. for the and, and the thing about the young kids is we were young, wow. And, and a lot of these guys, what, what I hate to see is the ones who have successful careers. You know, guys like King Vaughn, guys like a lot of these dudes are, I make it to where we dreamed of making it, to okay. where they could leave the streets alone. And you made a good analogy. You was like, remember that kid who had all the video games and shit and we, we ain't had nothing and he wanted to be in our shoes? Perfect and, example. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect example right here. Yeah. So when we kids, uh, I was poor. Even though I lived in a house in Quincy, my grandmother owned, she owned like three houses. We was poor. Yeah. Well, we was poor. My grandmother, whatever, whatever. Make a long story short, when I we had ColecoVision Atari. My friend's name, they had Nintendo, Genesis. They had the top of the line Sega. shit. Right? Yeah. So these yeah. kids, they're financially well off as far as their parents and shit like that. We got to go to fucking Alby Square. We got to boost clothes still, still every day to eat and survive. Big pockets, jostling, yeah, shit like, yeah, yeah, all of that. Going Chain snatching or whatever. Yeah, chain, yeah. This is before we started toting guns. This was yeah. like boosting and shit like that. So I always, I always found it crazy. I'm like, yo, why the fuck would you want to follow us? You good. Your parents got money. Uh, you going to a good school, private school, shit like that. Why you want to be in the street with us? Yeah. So it's the same thing, the with, same the rapper, thing yeah. with the rappers. The rappers want to be gangsters, and now the gangsters want to be rappers. But how do you want to be a fucking rapper if you a fucking gangster like that? As far as like really in the street, and you mm. and you glorify the shit like that. No, yeah. some of these dudes are straight pussy. Straight well, ninety percent of them is. I know. I, yeah, and you know it's funny they look at me because I'm the positive rapper, and I don't. I never bring up my past. I hardly sell them. That's say, the thing. Oh, can I can I interject? Yeah. Let me interject with that. Now this fucking guy right here. He, he conscious rapping all of that. That's <laughs> that's fucking good. 
But however, you was running the streets crazy just like me. Yeah. So my wow. thing is, uh, wow. you are the prime example of what I say that most of us that live that life, we're speaking the opposite now. Yeah, absolutely. The thing, the difference for me is yeah. this. I know this is a business and it's entertainment. So I'm not, for me, if I was still rapping, I'm not, I'm a songwriter. I don't write positive shit. I don't. I write whoever I'm writing for, whatever their style is, whatever they promote, and I'm promoting, and I have no fucking problem doing it because it's a business. Yeah. It's not, I'm like, That's oh, why I get caught up. this is going to be the kid yeah. that, that some some kid is going to die because of some shit that was said. I don't That's give a my fuck. Dilemma. I'm not even like, my this is a business. It's entertainment. Hope yeah. said it. It's only entertainment. Listen to the song when Oprah tried to shoot at Hove. It was like, um, Scarface the movie yeah. did more than what rapping. Had, Scarface the rapper. Yeah. It, they more than Scarface, Scarface the rapper, rapper did to sure, me. For sure. We was influenced by movies. Yeah. When you watch King of New York right now, you're gonna get hyped. Yeah. Oh, you know how many times you you watch a movie? Nah, from video Warriors, games got these kids. You ready to go GTA, out and commit? GTA. You, you ready to go out and be Nino Brown? Roblox. Frank Roblox. Look at Big. GTA. Biggie, the greatest rapper of all times. Speaking of Big. You know Bishop. King of New York. You know Bishop introduced me to Big. We got a friend named Bishop. Shout right? out to Bishop. Shout Bishop. out to Bishop. Listen, Shout out to Bishop Live. I, I, East New I York. hate to. I hate to. Oh, I'm not trying to over talk some, but I'm saying Bishop. I love you. You're a real one. Yeah, you know why you're a real, real one? one? Because everybody that I know that know this guy and know that I fuck with him, they was not trying to let me link with him. They they ain't tell me nothing, nothing about his career, nothing. Bishop, I, I found you on Facebook. I caught you one time the same day you got me in company. The, the same day. The same day. Shout out to Bishop, my son, like, yeah. Bonafide G. Bonafide, Bonafide G. G'd up from the feet up. Real the shit, feet up. The, and, I appreciate and it's funny you. Because he Real introduced shit. me to Biggie. He introduced me to, we was, but we was following Biggie to, Biggie was like, he was like, you got to hear my little man rap. My man is yeah. nice. He was promoting me no more question. than himself, and he rapped. A little bit. My drinking time. partner, by the way. Yeah, he he, he tried. To, he tried. He was telling Biggie Smalls that, you know, he's close with Biggie Moms. Like he called yeah. him Fat Chris. He don't even yeah, call no him. Question. He be like Fat Chris, Fat no Chris. Question. He don't even coming up in, mm -hmm. in Brooklyn and shit. So we supposed to follow Big to Jersey, and we waiting for this young lady to come out with some beer. So Big like follow me. So he pulls off. Big's in the driver's seat. I mean Bishop's in the driver's seat. I'm mm -hmm. in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. And. Big pulls, I'm gonna tell you about loyalty, bro. We had an opportunity to be with Biggie Smalls. He pulls off and like, follow me, y'all. We going to my crib in Jersey. We on mm -hmm. 125th Street. Mm -hmm. Big pulls off. We he sent some girls, some young lady in the store to buy some beer. Mm -hmm. And the young lady was still in the store when Big pulled off. Mm -hmm. I'm like, leave her, bro. She'll find her way home. Mm -hmm. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. He's like, yeah. nah, we can't leave her. I'm like, leave her. She, she, she's in essence now. God bless her soul. She passed away since. But I'm like, leave her, bro. This is Biggie Smalls. This is when he's on fire. Mm -hmm. This is like 94. I'm like, fam, this is a, he rap. I, I really rap. I'm like, let's go. And he would not leave that. And to the point where like eight cars give it to, to what we lost. By the time she got back in the car, they probably was on the George Washington Bridge. Damn, son. <laughs> yeah, to this day, I'd be like, yo, you fucked up our lives, bro. <laughs> Nah, but at the end you of the fuck, day, nah, it's what I, what inside I, joke. What I strongly, what I strongly believe when a situation like that, a lot of times, uh, we want and things. Shout out Lil C's too, my brother. Lil C's my bro. It's my little bro. Little cheese. Lil C's. Little bro. cheese. Little fucking cheese. You, you testified against your best fucking friend who was feeding. See, he, got a son fucking he got something. He got something good. You testified against your best friend who was feeding you. Lil' Kim was feeding the whole family when Big died, and you took the fucking stand on her. That's and just the jail. And you from Brooklyn. You're a disgrace to the That's borough. That's the jail. Please. That's the jail part Fuck of him. Fuck Lil' Cheese. Excuse him. You told Excuse on Lil' Kim. <laughs> you was a fucking rat. Anybody who took the stand on Lil' Kim, y'all fucking rat. And y'all told on a chick. Fuck out of here. Shout out to Lil' Cheese. I'm about to call Lil' no, Lil' Fuck out of here. It's my bro. Anyway, man, we're going to wrap this up soon, but... One thing I want to do, right, before we wrap up is because I before before I known you as Wild Childer or or Nichols, you know what I'm saying? Or even A Dawn Status, the Dawn, Swag King. You know what I'm saying? Before all of that, I known you as Wild Child, a rapper from the mixtapes. I always thought you was one of the best rappers I ever heard. Appreciate you. I'm humble. So let me ask you a question. You used to say the same thing about me. And I, you I, nice, I, though. You get busy. Oh, we bro, didn't even talk I, I about- I proved it. I proved and it. And the Keep Black like Wreck in New City when we was like- That's cool. Okay. Now, yeah, we used to rap. We used to all- We, we was in jail together. 
Yeah. We used to be. I he mean, used to be bored. Like, yo, we got to turn up. We so got to fight. We got to do something. We got to beat I'm, somebody up. I'm like, so used to, like, Rikers Island's a different animal. Yeah. When I was locked up in New City with him. Yeah. Uh, it was, it's not, it's nothing to do. It's no action, no nothing. I used to just start shit just to start shit. <laughs> So, <laughs> so we'd be locked up rapping. So we'd be keep the door. locked yeah. and rapping through the door. So yeah. when he keep locked for fighting, I go to his door. We rapping the whole oh, rec oh, session. Oh, we, we keep oh, when I'm keep locked, he coming yeah. to my door, rapping through the whole we the whole session, you just rapping They used to call us animal lessons because we was adolescents. We were wilding animal. that shit. But but new city is soft. To, to, oh, yeah, new yeah, city yeah. is soft. Super soft. I'm not now, saying how, like all them jails is pussy. Listen, bro. I'm gonna say it's with not LO. Jail, listen, a... LO, LO, LO. This is what LO taught me in all burning 09. Cause I was, you know, I was on my bullshit. LO said, he said Nichols. He said, uh. You only a gorilla when you stand other. out amongst gorilla. other gorillas. Facts you can't life. be in the house on an island and everybody pussy and you got the house. But if I be like, yo, who got the house over there? You be like, I got the house over there. I'm like, who else over there? Web or Wild Bill, Pop or Papa Jock, yeah. my son Monster Ball. Mm. Like, you know, Wise Red, who's fangs, over there? Fangs, nigga. Fang, Wise Red over there. Fangs. Like, who's over there? If H, none of them is over Sharif, there, Sharif, Wise Red, West none of them Indian is over Pete, there. The Petey Weedy, like. If none of them is over there, right? Oh, yeah. Eli Brim, whoever. If none of them is over there. Yeah. The, you put the house is pussy, so you don't got the house. You're not no yeah. tough guy in the house pull a sheet. Yeah. But when you in there, I'd be like, yo, who you? And he'd be like, yo, I'm in there with Papa Jack, or I'm in there with Wise Red, or I'm in there with these Monster Ball, whatever. That dial or whatever, you like, yo, yeah. all right, he official because if you in the house with them and you got a phone, you got to be a gorilla. I'm off the jail shit. We're never going to talk about jail shit again. Deal? Okay. No more jail talk forever. You already know. No more jail talk, man. Okay. Uh, uh, we, now we back to- you. I yeah. want to talk about music before we close out. Okay. Because right? we on Vlad. Vlad, you know, Vlad, Vlad is international. This is the biggest stage you could be on. Mm -hmm. and welcome to Vlad TV. Shout Appreciate out to Vlad, it. Shout, shout out to Vlad, to Vlad for letting, for letting me, me do on. the word. Shout out to Havoc on tour. When you get back, we're going to get back to it. And uh, But I want to say something like, because you, I mentioned to you about doing music, and you was like, bro, I'm 45, bro. I did 22 years. Mm -hmm. and But you got a hell of a story. You got a hell of a talent. You done with it? No, I'm, I'm still as an artist, I got as mad an artist, songs. As an artist. As an artist? Like on, on the front. If if some if the check if because I'm I would be lying if somebody nobody gonna like, cut you a check unless you go go out there and put in the no work but I'm this is what I'm saying okay. hypothetically speaking yeah if somebody cut me a check and be like yo I want you to do this and it's the money is right I'm not gonna say no I'm I don't I'm fucking but that's not gonna happen unless you go out there and say I'm I'm an artist I'm doing art I answered your question no you didn't you didn't answer my question <laughs> I, I, what I asked you was are you I'm done with it unless somebody give me a check. So you ain't no plans that you going to drop a mixtape. No, 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 I'm a songwriter. Um, I I want to say I want to talk and about. And this is one of the most talented MCs. I I've want to shout out Prodigy life. real quick. Rest in peace, of Prodigy. Fact. I gotta shout out Prodigy. Fact. A long time uh, throughout my incarceration, I listened to all the mixtape, five mixtape. Prodigy is a real one. Prodigy was living what he was talking about. I'm in Queensbridge. I met Havoc and every and you know through their cousins. You know we had a fight, right? Yeah. All right. So Prodigy was on the corner of what 41st South 40, whatever. He was walking. He had this mag limp. Like I'm like, what the fuck? He looked like he had something in his leg. I'm thinking, thinking he prosthetic leg or some shit. I don't know. So I'm upstate. I'm in Auburn. I'm here, Quiet Storm, and I hear. Long shotgun down my pants, leg limping. Killer B still living, <laughs> and I'm like, I know Killer Black. Killer yeah. Black came Havoc's home. brother. Killer Black came home, and, and when I was yeah. on a run out there yeah. with La Mika, yeah, you know, yeah. he came home. I met Killer yeah. Black, Havoc. but Prodigy was actually had the shotgun, mm. limping, and then limping. Yeah, and I used to be like, what the, why he lived like that? Rest in peace. So rest in peace, the Prodigy should have been in the um top fifty. You wasn't. They violated you. So you look young for a guy that did 22 years, bro. You look Listen, very good. Good black don't crack, y'all know. Unless you smoke it. Good um, good um genetics. Good black don't crack. Shout out to my sister Ray Cal. Um, my niece. Welcome Elle home. Boogie. Welcome home, man. Welcome home. Thank you. I appreciate Stay it. Free, man. My don't, cousin Pammy did my guy, beard the last with me. guy who was Pammy, in that chair. Oh, 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 last guy who was in that chair who did the time like you, he's back in there. He's a fucking imbecile, idiot. But let me tell you, with him, he's more institutional. Like, even in a video, he said, yo, if somebody violate me, I'm going to do this. Right now, 
that's he's so used to for the like um certain individuals that I, I don't want to give them light, so I'm not gonna say their name. Certain individuals, every time they see you, they gotta pop. They don't got no choice because they know they the enemy of blood. As soon as they see you, they popping. With him, he's so used to having to defend himself because he's a major head crypt dude. So this is what happened. So you out here. Now your name is everywhere. Yo, this is Blue Boy. This is, motherfuckers going to try. These young boys don't give a fuck about what you did in jail. It only count out here. All that tough shit, all the movies, your tickets, fuck that shit. Because out here playing with steel, they will end you immediately. Facts. Immediately. Facts. So you come Keep out that here in mind. These playing young, games, talk about your jail record. And nobody they give don't a fuck give about a fuck. that. These they will young, fucking... Yeah, they want, matter of fact, they want them They want, they them want all the smoke. That's going, they yeah, want that's all points, the fucking right smoke. There. Fuck out here. You come home, you think you're going to just run shit like that and don't... What about the people that been out here running shit? Now you think you're going to so come run shit? So you done with rap? No, I'm a songwriter. I mean, you done with rap, music. but even though, like, and your story, and, and the way the world works now, you being a big hat, right? Mm -hmm. Blood shit is controlling the game, the gang shit, right? You doing 22 years, going to, doing more time in jail than you did on the street. That's mm -hmm. a hell of a story mm -hmm. for a rapper. You're not mm -hmm. going to go try to manipulate that into a rapper. If somebody cut me a check, <laughs> you cut me a check, I do a whole album. <laughs> right now, I'm a songwriter. Shout out to Missy Wavy. Shout out to Young Ad, Miss Young Ash. Yeah. Um, oh, and Crooklyn, Crooklyn, I just seen you at the Apollo. Shout out to you too. So what's in the future for 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 uh a a what is it Swag King? A, a, a Dawn Swag Stuff. Kings in New York fashion. Like I'm uh, so what's that's, what's in the future? Gonna, for you? I can't really uh it's certain shit I can't speak on about my company. It's not fully up and running and certain things I don't want to speak on because I don't have to patent and shit You're like talking that. Talking to me, brother. I don't have to patent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the patent yeah. and um, trademark trademarks and mm. shit like that, so I can't really. Speak he learning, on it. he learning, but, he learning. I love but it. watch out for Swag Kings in New York fashion. So, you already know what it so is. That's what. That's the wave. That's where you are going. It's with gonna it. be the wave. Yeah. It's gonna be the wave. That's a fact. It's gonna be wave. So, oh, but then hold on, let me afraid. God willingly. God willing. Everything can't be too cocky. Everything, Everything is God. God inshallah. Inshallah. You know what I mean? Alhamdulillah. So let me ask you a question. Like, how how you avoid falling back into that old lifestyle? Did I? How do you avoid that? Because I, you know what? Yo, hold on. Let me tell you something. Easy. Okay. There's an art to being broke because when, <laughs> yeah, there's an art to it. You can't look at the next man shit, especially with all the social media shit, and see a nigga Yo. flossed out and doing that because the where we come from, we know a fast way to get things. Yeah. So it's easy to be like, oh, this nigga flossed. I got to get it. And that, I almost got caught up in that coming home. And I had to realize, you know what? Motivation, though. I'd rather be, I'd rather be free with my freedom with and go the slow route, then get then then the risk work the the reward risk factor. Yeah. When you're doing that shit, it don't it don't pan out to me. Rather be um um poor out here than rich in jail. One million percent. All right, but I I I I will say this. Like for me, as I've been home, discipline, tolerance, and had to relearn patience. My biggest asset is self control. Yeah. That's my biggest asset. Yeah. I'm was always on go time. That's why I understand Blue Boy to a degree as far as, you know, you always on go time, always on go time. Self-control, you need to practice that. You mm. need to, um, I'm trying to think any programs that I took or anybody that I spoke to. ART helped me. Aggression. I mean, all right, that's the, uh, not ART, um, AVP, AVP, Alternative Violence Program. That helped me too. Shout out to uh, Mark, I, th I think his name is Mark, but uh, that breathing AVP, shit. Pleasant AVP. imagery. Look, think about the last time you had a good time. They teach you breathing exercises before you self <laughs> No, self-control is self -control. why a lot of us, even in the book I was telling you about, the Napoleon Hill book, it speaks on discipline, self-control. Self-control, you know, when you get angry, all types of, whatever, something goes to the, I, I don't, I don't want to speak on, I don't want to sound uneducated yeah. when I'm speaking on it. So if I had the book in front of it, it'd be different. But self-control is key. Right now, if you're in a crowded place full of kids and kids is playing somewhere and somebody violated you or said some shit, right? You got a gun on you. You not, you cannot pull out your gun in front of a bunch of kids because you might hit a kid. That's self, no matter how angry, somebody could have smacked the shit out you. But it's a bunch of kids around. Are you going to just pull out your fucking gun yeah. or to, to kill somebody? No, that's self-control. Wait, yeah. you know what? If I don't get you today, I'm going to get you again. Yeah. 
I don't care how long it takes to get an op, you're going to get got. But at a certain place, you have to have self, even on the workplace, your job. We all, anybody that works for anybody, everybody want to smack their boss or punch their boss in the face sometime. But you got self-control. This is what I want to do for you before we mm-hmm. get out of here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I appreciate and, you. You ain't have to. This this, this is another and, thing. And, he don't owe me shit. Even though we grew up, we've been through mad shit, we committed mad crimes together. Yeah. He does not owe me shit. He did this because he's a real nigga. He's a, well, peace king. He's a real king. He's genuine and like he really fucks with me. I love I you. I know everybody I that fucks with me. I love you. He fucks with it me. Bishop, me. Bishop yeah. fucks with me. Prince fuck with me. Yeah, Monster brother. Ball texts me every fucking morning. He fuck with me. Shout out to Zoo. Shout, shout to Zoo. Shout out to Zoo. Yo, Zoo, how loud me, Zoo? Shout out to Nicki Minaj. Andrew Dawn stay yeah. out of 77. Shout out to Web. Shout out to Web. Yeah, me. Yeah. Shout out to, oh, shout out to Web. Nicki always mentioned Web in a song. Web yeah. was an official stick-up kid just like me um, yeah. throughout Queens. I uh, met Webb on an island on foot. Last time I seen Webb, Webb was bailing out as usual in 97 and I was and going to trial. And now he's a music exec. And I was going, no, no, now, no. Now he's yeah. a music exec. No, no, it's two webs. It's two webs. One no, from Brooklyn. No, I'm talking about Webb from Queens. Queens. Yeah, he Web was fucking with the Desert Storm. I yeah. think Webb is Web, locked up right Web now, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you back I think Webb is in the feds right now. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Oh. But that's my but, guy but right he, there. He was a music That's exec. my guy. So that, that goes to show you he's an example of you could do whatever you want. Absolutely, because he changed his whole life. Yes. I ain't going to front. Webb, don't get mad at me for saying this. As I did. Don't get mad at me for saying this. When I seen Webb in the bullpens and um, you, what's that? Q Gardens, yeah. And ninety seven, we had some. We just shot something, whatever. We had to stuff the hammers, whatever. I, I, you know, Webb was Webb was air like. Yeah. You know, what Webb say he said, man. Only thing changed about me now is I'm a born again Christian, and it took that to change his mindset and his ways of whatever That's he was good. doing. Whatever, whatever and makes you a better person. For him. Whatever, I oh say God. that. Yeah, whatever makes you a Official, better person. Pretty boy too. Whatever makes you a better person, do that. And I tell everybody that. Whatever makes you a better person. Absolutely. I'm on, I don't care if it's Christianity, Islam, Buddha. Shout out to Hell Rail too. I, Hell Rail, you know I was the best in a jail in any jail I've been in. Um, and and 98 was in Comstock. We don't, we I killed don't do you. That. We don't do that. Well, oh, you killed him? I killed you. <laughs> no, not, no, that's my lyrically, guy. Lyrically, lyrically. Yeah, lyrically. I battle everybody. Everywhere I go, I battle everybody. That's why I want you to get back in the music, even though you're against it. With that being said, we about to close out of here. Nothing is off the record. Havoc's on tour. He couldn't be here with us. You know, Vlad TV, number one, like you said, we do all kinds. I'm kind on of, a number one if, show. If you, you want are? the realest shit, you go to Vlad TV. This is real. This is authentic. This is, Everything on This is not, shout to St. Laz and all that, but you ain't doing it like we doing over here at Vlad you TV. You stay in the fucking fight. Nothing is off the record. My boy, Wow Chow, Nichols, Dawn Status, A Dawn Status, Vlad TV. About different to versions of, of me at different lifetimes. Facts of life. Shout to Vlad. We out of here. Pow.